Good morning. We're going to call to order, bring back to order the uh, budget hearings for uh, 2020 budget hearings. Um, today is July 23rd. Madam Auditor, would you do roll call, please? Uh, sure. One, two, three, everybody say present. <laughs> we all here. Here. Mr. Molenauer. Present. Mr. Gelbeck. Here. Mr. Rosenbaum. Present. Mr. Santana. Present. Mr. Sullivan. Present. Mr. Nichols. Present. Thank you. First up this morning's Park Department. How are you today? Good. 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 155. So is there anything you want to go over on your budget? Is there anything changes you made? No, we didn't request it. we didn't request any additional uh, in any line items, so any place then Jeremy in these accounts, of course we're not doing the one hundreds, but in any of these other accounts that you see that you know year to date you haven't spent that much and don't anticipate toward the end. Of course we always are, you know, looking for some some cuts if we can. Right. right. Um, um you know, not really, because there's things, if you look at several of those, they're already out. And then there's other items like consultant fees, we're in the middle of a grant, you know, so I'll, I'll be needing those. Um, the trail maintenance, we've got, uh, we had some uh, uh, lightning strike lure that we need to get repaired that hit the trail and blew it apart. And then, um, so yeah, there's, there's, uh, mm -hmm. um, not much wiggle room there, as you can see. My total budget minus the 100s is 72,700. So I mean, yeah, actually, you know. actually, I do. Um, Real quick, Jeffrey. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 3002 postage. You didn't spend anything last year, right? You just made it up this year. You're um, asking for. Well, I've spent about 500. We could probably cut that in half. I mean, 500 bucks, if you know that one. Um, we do a lot of mailings and stuff, but yeah. That one. And then rental equipment. We hundred dollars isn't even enough to rent anything. So go ahead and <laughs> get rid of that. Cut one. that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was going over to the other side. I did see um trail maintenance mm -hmm. three oh one oh three. You've got three thousand year to date you've spent nine forty. Last year you did spend three grand. Yeah. Do you anticipate yeah. some more work yeah. on the trails or whatever? Yeah, we, we try to seal portions of the trail every year just to, to protect it and we got a lot of cracks that are beginning so we need to get cracks uh, taken care of uh, like okay. I said it, it's it's really an ongoing maintenance issue just like our blacktop roads and, and things like that so okay I don't see anything else you guys do you does anybody else have any other questions concerns regarding 155 hearing mm -hmm. none what's your pleasure Motion approved. You have a motion by Mr. Mr. Yagowski, seconded by Mr. Sullivan, to reduce 3002 postage by $500 and reduce 3008 rental equipment, reduce it by 100 zero in that out. Is there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thanks, Chair. Can, can I mention about my truck that I have an issue with right Absolutely. now while I'm here? Um, I think everybody I, should have gotten an email on that. Yeah, we've, we've got our dump truck is is down, not repairable. We've exhausted all. Of, that's why it has been a little while because I was trying to make sure we couldn't repair it instead of replacing. But but I am I have got pricing from a couple from Ford and Dodge and and um, I'm able to eventually I'll be able to come up with about half of what we need uh, from our non-reverting account. So um, the problem the problem I'm having is Ford's got a truck that's built that you know is in Wisconsin and they they were ready to you know get it here but I obviously can't get before the the council to get approval so I don't know what Ford's price or anything's going to do once that truck sells or whatever so um, just um, just want you to be aware of uh, that we're going to be requesting next uh, at our next meeting at the next okay. meeting 
You know? can't. You can't. But the other thing is, is and you and I both talked to Bob Young about the Volkswagen yeah. Grant. Yeah, and it's and this doesn't qualify. Doesn't qualify. The truck doesn't get. It's they have to put seven thousand miles a year on it, and the age of the truck right. that you're replacing is this truck's only eight years old. So uh, and looking at any angle, we could yeah yeah save some other money and, too. So. So, yeah, we tried. All right, it was a. Uh, can I just ask so the, Vol- the Volkswagen? Uh, sorry. <laughs> It has to be a certain age to Yeah, train. yeah, he said it, it, it has to be a certain age and um, has to get, it has to get 7,000 miles a year, which we were putting now, we're since I came along, we're putting a lot more miles on that truck than they used to. Um, but how many is that? How many is that? We're, that truck only had 25,000 miles on it and it's eight years old. Uh, we put, in the last year and a half since our maintenance foreman um, started, our new maintenance foreman started, we put about 7,000 miles on it. So it has to be a running total, or it can't be just some record that you have that record. Bob said it wouldn't wouldn't qualify. Bob said so. he, I he think called, I think he called him and did something. Yeah. He looked into it pretty yeah. hard. All right, thank you. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, well, keep us informed on that. And if, if we need to maybe do something or move on something, let me know. Okay. I'll give, yeah, right. I'll give you Thanks. heads up. Thank you, guys. Right. Next up, community corrections. Mr. Presidents are coming up there. Uh, can I uh, make a motion for MS4161? Oh, MS4 yeah. Or 161. What's your motion? Okay. Motion. For uh, excuse me. Uh, point of order. I don't think you voted on that. You. Y- you. We made the motion. Yeah, we didn't vote. Oh, you got to reopen right. it. You're correct. What? No, we didn't. On, on the park no, and rec. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't call. All right. All those in favor of 179 park and rec, say aye. 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 Those opposed, thank you. All right. 155. But like on MS4, he's talking. MS4, we never brought it up. We were right. going to bring it up in the afternoon. So it's a three today. Right. Okay. So are we Bob, doing that now or not? Yes, yeah. sir. 161. Okay. I'm ready. I have to keep, I have to keep the 161 the same as 2019 budget. No changes. We have a motion by Mr. Yugowski for second. MS4 161. Uh, keep it the same. Seconded by Mr. Rosenbaum. On the question? Yes. You know, one, one that I looked at, Mark, after we were looking at this was 30135, the professional service. They spent 365 last year. Year to date, they've spent 140, and they've got 7,800 in there. Yeah. Talk, talk to him. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Carter, you want to explain that? We talked to, to him yesterday. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically, he was fine with everything. I didn't mention the lawyer fees, but I noticed the same thing as Jeff did that. Uh, I'd just say we could probably cut it in half at least. That was fine. Is it, would you change it? Yeah. Get something on the glasses here, Mr. Carter. All right, this, uh, I will reflect that as on my motion to cut it in half that, um, the service fees. Do you just want to make it some round number? Rather than half, yeah, you know, what do you got? <laughs> I don't care. I, I can bring. I, well, instead of 78, why would you say 4,000? 4, 4,000. Right. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So minus 38, 35. Okay. To get it to 4,000. 38, 35. So he's changed his motion, Mr. Rosenbaum. You and I agree with that. Re second it. Is there any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. All right. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. So we'll start with uh, 179. Uh, community corrections, you only got a couple items on there. Gas and fuel, telephone. Yeah, I have a quick question. How many employees are there? In the- 31, I believe. Mm-hmm. That includes part time. Mm-hmm. How many? 31, I believe. And, and how many vehicles are you operating? Uh, let's see, field officers and the field coordinator and the director and assistant director. So eight, I believe. Okay. Thank you. We do have another one that we use for chow and stuff like that, an older vehicle. But we have to come back and forth to pick up chow. 
Mr. President. Yes, Mr. Sanchez. Motion to approve community corrections 179 as presented. We have a motion by Mr. Santana. Second. Seconded by Mr. Sullivan. Hey, but just a observation. Did you have something you want to? I want to ask you. Well, because Tim, go ahead. On uh, 3004 telephone, last year you, or in 18, you spent 4500 um, 19, it looks like 5100 and you only got $1,500 in the right. budget. They cut us last year, mm -hmm. so we ended up having to pay for that out of our project income accounts. And now this year, we ended up having to juggle stuff around and put it out of the grant and then just we had just transfer monies around in order to make that. We ran out of uh, money already in April for our telephone accounts. But you're paying it out of the... We're paying it out of, we're now we're start paying out of the grant account. Sounds good. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any other questions? Uh, yes. Is there going to be funds available to pay out of the grant account next year in 2020? Uh, the way I switched stuff around, there will be. We originally had it where you figured we'd be paying it out of the 590 account, our pro our um, fees account. But the problem with that is, is we have, even though something is appropriated into that account, even though we're approved that we can pay that, we have to have the cash in order to pay for that. And that's why we weren't paying it before out of our project income account because we just didn't have enough of the fees coming in to have the cash to pay for that. So now that's why we had to change it now to be paid out of the grant account. Okay. So even though when our 590 account shows that we have all these appropriations in it, we are not necessarily spending that money because we don't have the cash to support that. Mr. Yagowski. Uh Mike, just you know, the cars that they have, we those are through grant stuff. We can't, we don't have no. Uh, no, I'm just trying to get an overall count as we go through right, in the past couple days. I just want to make sure you understand. I appreciate that. Those, those that. vehicles are not part of our. Okay. Fund. All right. So we have a motion and a second. Any other questions? How much money do you bring in in grants anymore? In grants, um, six hundred and twelve thousand five hundred eighty-four dollars a year. That's a good guess. <laughs> nice I work with the money a lot. <laughs> change. That's some change. <laughs> Fifty-two cents. <laughs> no, it's zero cents. <laughs> how many? It makes so, really, so I, then I question the financing part. But how, how many people we have right now that were uh, in the community corrections? How many people, um, you mean inside the facility? Incarcerated. Incarcerated. We, we pretty much are at the maximum. Of, I think we have three dorms um, and then 24 per, per dorm. We're pretty much maxed out there. And then we also took on a pilot project um, from Circuit Court, which we had to sep put them in separate dorms. Um, they're not as full. There may be about five or six. Um, males and about five or six females and then we have what's called an honor storm that goes to the people that actually are abide by the rules and deserve incentives and we have about um, I think six or seven people there so um, what's that and then and we have a female dorm as well so so the population's really picked up the population is about as well about as much as we can Right, handle, handle right, right now and then of course that doesn't include um, those that are, that are on the monitors uh, such as scram or GPS or those type of I, and there's probably another 150 people on those um, different devices electronically so those numbers you gave were about what about 90 then incarcerated <sighs> sounded like it yeah roughly roughly I would say are you still having issues with them destroying stuff, or has that been taken care of? I believe that's been taken care of. I haven't heard of anything um, since I've been there since February um, about any destruction of any property. I think when they remodeled the bathrooms and stuff, I think they tried to make it more destructive proof. Right. We do so. We still do, I guess, with destruction. I guess there are still some issues where if people stand or sit on the sinks, um, they, they tend to come away from the wall in some of the dorms, but I know that there was some remodeling done before I got there um, that, that put some steel sinks in uh, one of the dormitories where it's impossible to get that against away from the wall. So there have been some improvements there uh, to make sure that it doesn't happen. I believe it's just in the A dorm where we're still having some trouble with the sinks coming away from the wall. 
normal people don't have to worry about people standing on the steps. I know that's correct. Right. So, uh, one other question: uh, drugs. I know there used to be a problem out there with drugs getting brought in and that. And I know the sheriff's department used to take a dog out there every so often. Is that still? It's still happening. Um, I believe the dog's been out at least five to six times since February okay. or since March. And um, you know, at some point, I may approach the, the council um, and not have it, obviously the commissioners as well. Uh, and looking into getting a body scanner. Similar um, to what the jail has the, now. Correct? Similar to what the jail is. The problem is, yeah. is that when the dogs come out, they can go through the dormitory to search for the contraband. However, they're not allowed to go around the participants because they could get bit if they do have contraband on them. Um, so the, the they are. Uh, they're, they're separated away from the dog um, when the dog does come out, but a body scanner would remedy that situation. They're quite expensive. Um, that's why I've held back at this point um, in approaching the council and commission about uh, obtaining that. I'm also looking at possibly seeing if there was any grant money right. available that would be able to do that, um, but that would that would certainly remedy the problem of getting contraband into, into the yeah. facility. You, you can't just choose somebody and randomly bring them to the... Uh, Jail for we that. can, and we do. We do. We do that on a, on a basis. Um, if we have a belief or information that that somebody is for trying to bring in a contraband to the jail, um, or not even to our program. I'm sorry. We can bring them over there. The sheriff has been gracious enough to allow us that, as well as to, to let the dogs come out. It's like any community. Some people telling each other that usually you can find out this information if you know the right people to talk to. Right. 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 Is there any other questions regarding 179? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Thank you. The next one is uh, 584. It's the state grant. So this is grant money, so. Right. But motion to approve. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Moldenauer, second by Mr. Rosenbaum to approve 584 as it is. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item is uh, Community Corrections Fund 590. There's a lot of grant money in here, too. How is this generated? Is, is it all, Joey? Yeah. All great. All grant money. Right. <laughs> so what's your pleasure on? Five Motion nine. to approve 590. Actually, Second. the, the 590 is our fees. That's the fees that we bring in, but it is approved by the DOC through the grant. So I just didn't want you to think that that's money that was given to us. That is money that comes in. Yes. Is there a motion? I did. I, I did a motion. motion by Mr. Stanton. And I seconded. Seconded by Mr. Molnar. Is there any other questions? Matter. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for coming out. Thank today. you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Just want to make a. Um, no, I'll, I'll get them on the side. I wanted to make arrangements with you to take a tour sometime. Yeah. You can. We'll talk more about that scanner. Yeah. Okay. Help with that. Thank you. It'd be good to know the cost when you have it. Planning and zoning. Okay, that's all one. Okay, so they're 134. Is all 100 accounts? Mm -hmm. Correct. So we're not doing that today? No. Nope. Okay. So we're going to go on to 246. 200 and 300, you guys, Anna Marie. Okay. As far as today goes. Anna Marie, if, see at the top there, just because we're going through, is with my uh, office supplies, $1,500. You used $632 last year. You used $250 this year. Yes. So, pretty knock it off. $750, knock that too? Pardon me? $750, then I'll knock that down too? He's asking if he can cut that in half. Since you're not, I'll see. Okay, last year you used 
We still got six more months coming up. Absolutely. You, you only spent two hundred and fifty dollars. You spent six hundred and thirty two dollars last year. Yes. So that's seven hundred fifty more than should adequate enough to pay for the rest of your year. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It just gets rolled over, doesn't it? That's not how we work. That's not how we have to work our system. How do we get raises yeah. out here? It's right. budget. Oh, budget. Yeah. I mean, you remember that all of the revenue from the building permits, variances, driveways, mm -hmm. all go to the general fund. The only thing that goes into this fund is the measly contract with registration. Okay. That's what we're. Doing. Okay. Do you uh, postage? You, 3002 postage. Do you use uh, you budgeted for $1,500, but do you use the postage machine? No. We, we send out letters daily. We have a postage, we have a postage machine that we County have. sends out letters. We've always done our own. We have I understand. A have you tried to use the postage machine? I think years ago you did, didn't you? I think we tried it once or twice, but that was like... So if the, if the commissioners have a postage machine and that's their policy, why is it that people don't know that well, you use the postage machine? Well, we, we tell them, but some offices have their own postage, so this is the time to... What was your explanation? Talk, I'm sorry, what you said about... You tried about it what? We just tried it once. And? Too much what? We, we we have a new postage times a day. Can we, we do nice thick big things send off. Yep, you can oh, do cool. everything yeah, in there. It's a brand new machine, and it's over in the treasurer's office. And we're trying to get everybody to use that. And then it comes out. Then you don't have to worry about it in your budget. If, if, if you still need there. something, if you have to mail big packages, we, do. we can the load. And the plan. And the plan. So we can we can leave something in there. I mean, so, so the, right. So take that. Do we knock it down to five hundred dollars that we'll keep in postage and that way the rest of it goes to the machines in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, photography and blueprint. Uh, you asking for twelve hundred, you six hundred and eighty-nine dollars, you use eighteen dollars so far this year. Two three zero zero nine six. Or oh, sorry, three zero 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 six. Yeah. I learned how to read. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody else, no. Every, every time we bring up about this, we we get kickback from every other department that they never know from year to year that uh, on the on, on what they're going to need for photography and blueprinting. Mm -hmm. So I'm not so sure this is an area you you can cut a lot out of. Mm -hmm. You still need to, or they can just come back. That's it. So we can just cut it and if they need to come back. That's why we look at the history. And you, you can't judge from no, year to year. It's hard to judge that. Right. So if I keep uh, 800 in there, just to take, take 400 hours off, but that's like it's a reasonable number if you look at, the, at your history. Okay. Minus 400. What do you have for maintenance contracts? Maintenance contracts is Schneider and Harris support. Okay. And maintenance repairs? Maintenance repairs is Kemp's and trucks, tires, uh, Schaffner's, truck tires. Stuff. Okay, uh, that's fine. Thank you. Are the maintenance contracts, because I see a discrepant, well, I just see something that red flags me. Uh, are they annually or like uh, last year you only spent 13 grand. This year you've already spent year to date 27,000. So are you going to have the same are some of them biannually or some of them every every year that you have to pay uh harris is biannually and okay. that comes out to uh 13,256 a year okay uh that's paid 60 6750 we paid twice and then the 27250 for schneider will be a one time when that website is fully developed mm -hmm. it's, it's not uh, there's 5000 for maintenance and tech support, and uh, let's see, 6750 to host the website for the hosting. And I got a letter in the mail recently stating that they're going to increase their fees in 2020 by 8 to 10 percent. Okay. 30049 yep. mileage plan permission. You used forty-three dollars last year. You used zero so far this year. You allocated fifteen hundred dollars for it. Mm -hmm. 
Wasn't that combined all in one? I thought that was combined, the plan and... This is the way it works. The 30049. You have it right in front of you and to the right or to your left is a book we're looking at. That binder. Your, you have to find your tab, yeah. It shows here that you only used forty-three dollars. You used zero so far this year. Oh, that's um, the plan commission members. Do they pay? Do they turn it in? Very seldom. You have board turn. member mileage is down below. That's oh, okay. a separate item. Okay. I so think you, you said it was all in the one. So your plan yeah. planning board is that for going out looking at properties? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. But a lot of times they'll just get on beacon and look. Right, just look at it through the electronics. That's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the BZA is running a lot more. It's we have a lot more places to look. So okay, how about if you're 9,000? And we'll put five, leave 500 in there that way in case something does happen. We'll try it this year. Deduct that 1,000. Which, which again is that, please? 30049. Thank you. How much, how much are you leaving in there? 500. So she's transferred before in the past to help pay for the business. Not in the last two years she did. Not two years she did. You didn't? No, I went from different accounts. Well, we're going to have to be able to do that. So, sem yeah, right. so seminars now, so seminars, you've asked for $4,000. You, you used $1,937 last year. This year you used $1,775. What do you see as the increase on that? There were, there were quite a few seminars that I didn't let the guys go to that they would have gone to because we didn't, it was too early in the year and I didn't know how much it was going to last. They always go to a big one in April, they go to a big one sure. in September. That's fine. So if, uh, if it looks like we leave 3000 in the end, there still should be more than enough and let's knock that by 1000 Okay. That's all I have. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's yeah. oh yeah. So you have board member board members mileage five. Do you know what that is? Number three zero one four eight. That's for the board members when the they go out to look at. When they go out, we're having a lot more positions coming in now. So they have a lot more places to look at. They might have to with the other one that knows the other mileage. Right? The other mileage was for the commission. commission. How many board members are there? Right. Five for the BCA. Yeah. Okay. And we had to. Did you? You had to transfer last yeah, year. Um, we we, not, we never have enough for that one. Okay, I just All right. <laughs> so what's your and we never have enough, so that when you, when you cut some of these other ones, she's not going to be able to transfer. It. Well, that just means, so it's the end of the year. That so. means if something does have to come. You have to come from the council. There's no, there's no problem with that. What's your pleasure on two forty six? It was those good now. To mark the changes. We go through. So here's what I've noted. We'll see what you guys want to do. 2001 office supplies minus $750. 3002 postage minus $1,000. 3006 photography and blueprints minus $400. 30049 mileage planning commission minus $1,000 and 30051 seminar manuals minus $1,000. Motion to approve as read. Motion by Mr. Second. Second by Mr. Santan. Is there any question? Question on there. Yes. Uh, statement that you made here just recently that you're borrowing the money from other funds to pay at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. If you did, that would be in our statement. When we have a, when we have these numbers on here, this is the end year. This is your end year statement. So those those numbers were not. We did not take anything that you you would have to taken off. Yeah. These are the money. These are the monies that you already still have in place. Right now. No, like when I was giving you those numbers, like in twenty, <clears throat> for example, twenty sixteen, had you taken that money, and switched it around, those numbers would have been reflective of that. In twenty sixteen. No. Or 20, 20, 20, 20, 2018. 2018. 2018. Those numbers would have been reflective of that. 2019, those numbers are reflected of that. So if you take those funds away, we're going to know because it's on our spreadsheet. So that is, these are numbers that haven't affected you. And if and if you have something that you're always running short in and you're having to move money, go meet with Christy or, or Joey and, and they can propose moving things around. If you need to restructure your budget to make that so it works and you're not having to do that all the time, they'd be happy to sit down and talk with you. So is there any other questions? Just one on that postage on uh, 002. Was that 500 or 1,000? It went down to 500. Removed. Yeah, okay. Is there any other questions? 
Hearing none, all those in favor of 246? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Who, who made the motion? Mr. Ugell. I did. Okay. Second by Mr. Santana. Okay, thank you. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Circuit Court. We know you have a schedule to keep. Huh? We know you have a schedule. Wow. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Morning. I see Crystal keeps you in line yet, doesn't she? She still does. <laughs> Two days a week. So what you got? Do we start with law books? Law books. We cut that every year. Uh, no, no, let me tell you what we've been talking about. We've been talking about if there's any ability that uh, someone else uses similar law books, that what we can do is get into a um, bundle arrangement or to pay, have it taken out of one of the probations. Uh, whether, but you're not adult probation, so we can't take it out of there. Do all, do all the courts subscribe and then each one has a different a license versus everybody has their own contract. Uh, nobody should have Westlaw anymore. That's why we've cut this down through the years because the state Supreme Court provides this nexus. So if anybody is still paying for Westlaw, you should take that away from them. Well, the other the other thing that we're doing after meeting with uh, Mr. Irick and, uh, and Judge Freeman is the, the law books, we're looking at taking that out of probation. We no longer years. update whether it's reporters, we the only thing we get now are updates, one for each judge, of the trial rules every year, of the handbook of evidence, um, I think the family court rules. rules. I think somebody yeah, said the rules. Right. And, and then the only thing we keep uh, up on a subscription basis are our pattern jury instructions. Uh, everything else we don't use anymore because um, we've been provided the Nexus search system for free by the state. So we no longer subscribe to Westlaw. One of the, that used to be like five, six grand a year. So we, that's why we've cut this down from 10,000 to 6,500 and we're not even gonna use that this year. Either. So is, do you have an issue with moving that over probation user fees? Paying whatever we pay out of the law books for each judge and it, it yeah, I, I have an issue because it's not mine to say. And and because you've already stolen from probation user fees to redo... When we moved over to where Superior Court 3 is, we paid for that construction. Two years later, without confronting anybody else, you decided to put Superior Court 3 there and not put a place for them. So then we had to pay money to move them to where they are again now. And now you're take, rating that money to build a new courthouse in Michigan City and and eventually there's not going to be any money there. Do I care about it? I'm only here for another five years. I guess not. But ten years down the line when they run out of money, what, how are you going to spend? Where are you going to get this money from? Right now, I don't spend anything except for probation user fees out of the ordinary. When, when our audio system goes down, when our recording system goes down, probation user fees. When I need a new carpet, probation user fees. When we need new chairs, probation user fees. We don't do anything from the general fund. And so, do I care? It's a small amount, not really, but I have a problem with the fact that you're rating that money and it's gonna be, not be there pretty soon. That's, that's, I have an exception so, when so, you're so using the term that, we stole, that we're stealing the money, but okay, I don't, I don't yeah, think that's correct. Well, you're not stealing the money, right. but here's the, here's the fact. The fact is that money is supposed to be used for probation purposes, and we go out of our way to stretch what that means. Agreed. And, and we've done it, and I've done it voluntarily for the county's benefit, so we don't use general fund money. We use user fee money. I'm just saying we've accelerated that use. So we, we we accelerated that use to the point that in a few years there might be a you know there may be a problem shortfall. This is such a small amount of my budget. I don't care if you do that. Okay, Mr. Yagowski. But I'm just it's cautionary tale. Is all I'm saying. Mr. Yagowski. Superior Court Three was downstairs, correct? <clears throat> Superior Court Three was was 
The next Down in the basement, yeah. Now you know that you know that it wasn't the council that said, Hey, let's just build a new courthouse, a courtroom. It was mandated through that we that, 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 that nobody that, mandated that. Well, I'm gonna tell you, let me judge. tell you, there's the, 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 no, none of the judges, none of the current judges were notified that you had plans, but no one of the, the current judges at the time there was a current judge, the current was, judge, you, and you talked about you talked to one judge. That we, it was a, I know. We funded. We didn't plan it. We I didn't know. Fund it was, it. We, and that's a point. We right. don't not. Well, you're, you're, right. you're the money people. You're, and, and, you're, you're, and we didn't come up with the idea, Judge. I mean, so this. I'm sorry. Some of the words well, you used were. Neither did the neither did the judges, though. That's the point. the current ones, but the, the ones prior to that. Trust me, I got called in from, from all. The, I've been here for quite some time, sir, and I've been and I've got called in by every one of them, threatened for every one of the judges too, about that courtroom downstairs at number three. So uh, I never told you to. Uh, did I say you? Okay. I say I said. Except for the current judges, I was threatened by all the other judges. And so, look, we had it because of the safety concerns and stuff that they said. But by the way, they had no problem using the courtroom. Again, I have no problem with that, I understand, too. So you have to understand, though, this isn't my first year. So I have been pushed all the way from Baldoni all the way through, through all the judges all the way across there. So, uh, but OK, put it okay. this way. It's the, it was put in a position where you took Undid the the hundred thousand dollars we had just put into okay. moving the probation officers there. The judge that you that was consulted in doing the project apparently didn't care that the fact that they were displacing all those employees and that we didn't have to put them. Uh, the, the point was so that money had to be spent again, and then now there's a plan to redo the courthouse in, in Michigan City. Why that much money has to be spent? That's your concern, that's your decision. But once again, probation users fees are being asked to supplement that. I don't know if it's to try to get it so you don't have to pass a bond. Everybody's being asked to chip in. Yeah. Um, by the way, by the way you, you have no problem when we put a garage in or something like that. We're putting security in for these judges. So why it is because they're, we're trying to reimburse some of this stuff that's over and above our cost. Our cost is to build the building, but we're putting in other infrastructure. That's why, going to why help. do you need to build that building? Why do I need to build it? Mm -hmm. Because right now, and I can take you over there to talk to the Michigan City, I was, again, threatened. They were going to shut us down. They didn't by, by virtue of that we have a plan because there's no, the electric service in there is bad. It's got the old knob and tube wiring, the water system all the way from top to bottom. So how do you sit there and just renovate that part of it? If you, there's a better way to do it, Judge, I'd be glad to sit down and talk to you about it. But that's, that's you know, that that's not, again, the council does, does all of a sudden say, hey, let's just spend money. No. I, and I can tell because you know we've never had an increase in what we spend in 20 years for for office supplies or anything like that. We don't ask. We've we've gone along with the process. I cut positions since I've been in the judge. I understand where you're coming from, but all of a sudden, when money is spent, it's spent in big money. It's in big decisions, and I think. Well. Okay, but that, if that's not my decision. But if you took a look, look uh, if you want to do, care if that law books get paid for by Steve Irick or I, not, as long as they get paid for it, I don't in care. 2000, in 2008, 2009, we didn't want to go through this situation. So you know, because mm -hmm. we sat there for many, many years right. not spending. Unfortunately, when you don't spend money for seven years, it all catches up to you. So it wasn't a choice again by the council. We were under a court. Uh, mandated issue with the state on not, on not being able to spend tax dollars. We had no idea what our budget was for seven years in a row. Right, exactly. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Okay. So on the law books, we're going to turn his over to Steve Irick, too, who... It's the motion. No, that's... Well, that's so we land. Did anybody see anything else in there? Did you... What's the seventy-five thousand? I know that this varies to care of inmates. Yeah, well, it, it used to be a lot more than that. We've we've cut it down. We've cut that down from you know three hundred to two hundred fifty to. We've got it down to seventy-five thousand now. We, we're we put a lot more people in institutions, and we usually get billed in the fall for their clothing and stuff like that. We also we're also using some money now because in order to ease the overcrowding of the jail, I'm taking some of the people that would be sitting in jail and setting them without any in-out privileges over at the at the. Uh, Community Correction Center and paying for their drug testing and stuff out of this amount. So, because otherwise the jail would be at about 420 today. 
Um, so, and we have, and Rob hasn't sent us the bill for that. Are we going to spend seventy five thousand? Probably not. Could something happen? And we do it. Yes. So, if you cut it, I don't think you should cut it much. Understanding that some year we may have to go in for an additional appropriation from that. And that's, and that's, we've, cut this, we've yeah. cut this down severely through the years. And, and, and judge to uh, in eighteen, it was ninety three hundred that you spent. Right. Year to date, forty six. So if we double that, I mean, I, I get you. What if we took 25 off of that and left you with 50? Hey, we're, right. we're only spending about 10 grand a year now. Yeah, I, that's not a problem. Okay. Um, well, you get almost always you get it back at the end of the year, but um, just understanding that if there is some year where you don't get a big expense, we're just going to have to do an additional appropriation. You betcha. Yeah. Okay. So three zero zero seven four. You guys, we're going to take twenty five thousand off of that. Leaving fifty thousand. Leaving yes, sir. Leaving fifty. The uh, interpreter money, some years we spend all of it, some years we don't spend most of it. That's because we only spend that interpreter money after we spend the grant that we apply for every year. That, and the problem is the grant that we get from the state Supreme Court uh, this year was 10000 A couple years ago it was only 1500 So we don't know what that's going to be every year. Okay. So we only spent 5400 Last year, or we're only on the. We haven't spent any of it this year, and that's because we're spending their ten grand first, and we and we got a big amount from them this year. And this is for every court. And even though it's in the circuit court budget, it's only for. It's for all the courts. We okay. Pay the bill for all the courts interpreters. I'm com I'm comfortable with that. So the only thing we did was law books and. The care of inmates and institution. Motion to approve. Okay, motion to approve. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Molnauer to approve. Would you like to read those two cuts? Yeah, on the law books uh, 30038, we're going to. Um, we're going to we're going to uh, zero that out, and uh, like we say, Steve Irick from Adult Probation said that he'll be uh, taking care of that. Uh, Three zero zero seven four care of inmates and institution, knocking it down from seventy five thousand to fifty thousand. So that's a twenty five thousand dollar deduction, and those are the only changes. Is there a second? I second. Seconded by Mr. Santana. Mr. Yagowski. Okay. Can we uh, talk, <laughs> excuse me, Judge, I'm about CASA right now, if you don't mind? Mm hmm. So um, I believe I asked for the money to put in Superior Court, too, correct? So I increased 25000 because of DCF. DCS. Wait, 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 wait. What CASA? CASA's been in my budget. I have no idea why it's ever in my budget. It's not my program. Um, don't take, don't take it bad. I'm just trying to mention what yeah, I'm doing. We're trying to give you money. Well, so. Why? They, they, they spend probably three to four times the state average per child. Their budget, they got $52,000 from the health care symposium. Why are they asking for you for more money this year? Well, this, I would be asking these questions. I did. I did. I did. Let me, let me, let me okay. if you don't mind, I'm going to try to uh -huh. ask you a question. So the DCS canceled their contract, so we can't with child's uh, visitation. So that's the reason why I'm asking. Because Canceled that, what contracts? DCS. I don't understand. CASA's. Can I explain this? Yes. That $25,000 is for the supervised visitation program. That, it has nothing to do with CASA. It's nothing to do with CASA. It's, it's okay. for That's why I'm asking a question. through the court, and they're on a sliding scale. So they're paying $10 and they're okay. to keep them in at $10 an hour. So that's a completely different. So that, the court orders those cases, but it has a good pass. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Then I misspoke. I appreciate it. So wait, that's why I went to circuit court. Right <laughs> that's why I went to circuit court, too. Thank you. All right. So we have a motion and a second. Sorry. I misspoke. I apologize. Is there any other I'm sorry. questions on 148? No. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item is juvenile services 176. Oh, is it juvenile probation or services? We've added JSC 176. It's, they're both in there. 
Uh, what, what? It's just the order that we have. We got JSC. What, next. What's, oh, JSC. Okay. Court, court. And then the other one, Randy, behind it, is the one that he was looking at too. I think the board of commissioners after this. Oh, stay in his with probation. He's too late now. They're already up here. Let's go with that. Juvenile right. services. Right. I've got one in circuit court. The next one is 176. Oh, according here's, to here's, here's where that is. That's under here. Mine's under here. 176 yes, is, the, is the juvenile right. services right. center. We're good. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're on 176 juvenile services. Uh, to one of the things that, um, before we start off, one of the things we've talked about with I think the judge and I had a brief conversation. We talked with the sheriff. I, I know um, Councilman Gardner has talked to him also <coughs> about moving the food, the kitchen, possibly moving some of the staff over to the sheriff's department, the sheriff providing the meals for community, uh, for juvenile services. Um, and, and with the conversation with the sheriff yesterday, he said they would have to subscribe to the new tr nutritionist or that, that, whatever. They're just de Department of Education and Nutrition Departments, and as long as those are done, correct, correct, no problem with it. So that's something that we would like to explore. In right fact, now. we have a hard time keeping kitchen staff. Right, and that's what they were saying that you were, um, Mark was saying. And, I think and, and, the, and so do they. to do it right there, we probably, I mean, we, we have very little pantry space. We, um, so, um, that if you could save money doing it, I think it's good. The um, if you recall, when I first got here, I noticed that you guys were paying for all the food costs, and they were getting reimbursed for breakfast and lunch from the Department of Education, and they were keeping it at a fund at the Juvenile Services State Center. So the first couple of years, I had you cut the food costs out of the budget, so that we would just spend that down to zero. And I think now you get all that in your general fund anyway. Mm -hmm. So you get the reimbursements from that money. And if you want to spend it out of the sheriff's budget, and that's fine. I mean, basically, we have a book and two assistants, and we're lucky sometimes that we even, if both assistant positions aren't so empty. That how aren't, many you got out there right now? How many? Who do you have working in the kitchen? We have the head cook. Kitchen manager. One part time. So you have two full time, time and one part. Two part time, and we can never keep the part time ones. And sometimes the assistant we can't keep. You got, so you we've got, always, you know, we've always had a full the, the kitchen head. So you have two full time, two and two, two part, -time. part time, and one part time right now. Right. So if you if you know, figure out what that reimbursement you're getting and see what if you could do it cheaper and meet those, I, I think that's a great idea. I mean, they're delivering the meals right next door to community corrections anyway. Exactly. So what's the population right now? Right now, there's a four on secure and on residential. How many residential, I'm sorry? Three. Four on secured and what? Four on residential. Four and four? And then we have, in the part-time programs, we have well, those will, well now in the summertime those will go down, but during the school year we you know we have the after school program in both Michigan City and Laporte. We repurpose the staff, we get paid from DCS to do that. Plus our per diem, most of the a lot of those kids now are actually being paid at back from the state at a rate of was it four hundred and one dollars per day. So and for some reason in 2008, when the law changed, I, I started charging the state for these people, mm -hmm. um, these student, these bed days. I don't know why the other counties haven't done it, but we still do, and they still pay it. And in fact, we went from like 150 to, and it's gone up every year to, to over $400 a day. So I think on the average, we've been getting sharing about a half million a year back from the state. Since since we started that in 2009, we we've, we've brought back to the county coffers of $5.2 million. Um, last year alone was $656,000. How much? $656,000. So basically, roughly a little less than a third of the costs out there are being reimbursed by the state DCS now. Let me, let me ask you this. You know how... Um, the jail here or what have you, they, uh, they'll give us a, an amount of what each meal is, uh, is costing or where they try to be at with it. Where are you guys at with that? 
I don't have that. I don't have that, and I would imagine since our, since our numbers are down, it's probably expensive. It'd be quite higher. That's why I think it's a great idea. To yeah. Think, if you could do that. Um, and, and I'm assuming you would take our the boys over there. Yeah. 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 They would be offered, uh, you know, first first chance. Yeah. First choice. So, John, or anybody on staff. I know this number has changed throughout the year. Is there any reason why we don't, we can't get more people in the program? Well, I mean, because I, I mean, you have the four residential four. You know, I mean, there are several reasons because we've completely switched. A lot of the people that were in there should have been in there to begin with. Okay. Um, when you put people, especially on the secure side, um, when you put tough kids with not so tough kids with tough kids, they just become tough kids sure. themselves. Sure. And we were spending a lot of money sending kids to the DOC and other institutions. Uh, we don't do that as much because we catch these kids in the alternative programs earlier. We get CPS to put money into the families. Uh, and because of that, we are uh, we had been bucking the trend of juvenile crime going down. We were bucking it going high, but since we made these changes, we have less and less kids even being charged every year. Okay. So that's part of the reason. And so part of it is that we put them in alternative placements, like uh, kids that we can keep busy during the peak hours of troublemaking mm -hmm. our after school program. We put them in the after school program. Mm -hmm. There's no need for them to be there 24 seven. They can still be in school. Um, if they act up, we can, we got beds for them. Um, and so that's part of the system and, and Tough love. especially the younger kids, keeping them out of there as much as possible. Tough love, yeah. Yeah. I was just going to add too that, uh, you know, our population fluctuates mm -hmm. and even though there's four now, uh, probably about two weeks ago there were nine, mm -hmm. you know, and then when some of the cycle just yeah. up and down, we have a chance to be 12. So on both sides, both sides. I understand. I remember when it was a lot more than that. Oh yeah, yeah. When I first got here, we were we were we were always three or four oh, on each yeah. side over. I got it. One question. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was when they first built that facility, didn't it? Wasn't it looked into like other counties, like maybe Stark County, um, using it? I don't even know if they have a juvenile facility now. They there. don't. There are a lot of counties that don't have a juvenile facility, and we do get those kids. Not, we don't voluntarily take any delinquents, though we were asked and were thought about doing it, and then they went elsewhere with a kid a little while ago. But DCS will, since they're paying us 400 bucks a day, and and the kids that the kids a, a neglected or abused kid, we always let them use the pads. Yeah. Pay, right. pay for it. <laughs> okay. Thank so, you. If it sounds okay with you, we'll, we'll wait to our first hearing on this in the council. We wait to our first hearing, and then we'll do it. Uh, but budget hearing, we go back. You know, and then at that point, you can find out what the employees and money and all that stuff. As far as transferring the coach to the over to the sheriff's we'll department. We'll do it as of this, as of this day. What do you want me to work with the sheriff? Who, who on the sheriff's department is the point taking the point? Sheriff's on? department. Is yeah. it the? Is it, it, well, John is it a lot or? It probably be. Uh, probably would be. But okay. we, we just need to coordinate we'll that your name. and have a. Uh, we'll get you a name. We don't okay. have a name. Right. It's probably the jail commander. Yeah, that's what I think. Right. Yeah. And then probably the employees that are over there, let them know. So, so they know what's going on that they're being offered to come over here. So nobody, we're not cutting anybody, but All right. but it's whether or not they want to come over. I mean, that's that's their yeah. I don't know what he has. I, that's why we'll wait to the first. Yeah, that's why I, don't, I don't know what the sheriff. We'll have to see what the structure. That's why yeah. we won't do this right now. We'll wait to the first hearing that we have, and then we'll we'll, we'll do it at that point. Right, and then we'll transfer the food budget over there also. All right. Okay. What's the council's pleasure on 176? Since we got to come back. Motion approved, as written. Motion second. by Mr. Yagalski. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Rosenbaum. Is there any other questions? Three, <laughs> nine, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, thank you. Next item is probation 154. What's the juvenile probation? 
Motion to approve as is. There's nothing here. There's nothing there. There's nothing there, you guys. Look at your twos and threes. Mm -hmm. Right? Second. Okay. Three in our butts, I think. Isn't it? Motion by this. Mr. Santana, second by Mr. Yagalski. All those in favor say aye. 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 Most opposed? Thank you. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, whatever whatever we need, we spend out of user fees. So you'll get those on your budget, you know, the on three user fees if we need something. Right, right, right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thank thanks, you. Guys. Thanks. You know, I, I didn't mean to get it wrong. <laughs> that you did. No, no, I didn't. It, it wouldn't be a visit. You gotta be you, Tommy. You, you gotta be right. you. <laughs> we love you, man. Judge, judge, judge. It's Tommy. You might have to go see. I can't call him Tommy. After this <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. After this meeting. Oh, oh, now, now, now I broke you. I'm not gonna lie. You're work now. Thank you. Thanks, Judge. Can Council? I take a um, oh, Council before before you do that? Miss Bernanke's here. Judge, not to you. Uh, I would recommend that you read open uh, Superior Court 2 because we mislabeled that $25,000 account just so the record's clear and that can be uh, changed to court supervised visitation okay. as opposed to cost. Okay. And uh, Mr. Rosenbaum made that Sorry. initial motion and Mr. Santana Thank you, Chris. No seconded. Into, like that and I have no problem seconding so is that everybody, change? Everybody's in agreement on that then? Mm -hmm. Okay. So instead of a, a line item for CASA, it's going to be called court ordered supervision. Court order supervision. Court ordered family advocate. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those Aye. opposed? Thank you. Thanks, guy. Try to get him. We're going to take a break. Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right, we're going to reconvene the meeting. Uh, next up is the Board of Commissioners, account 143. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. President, members of the council, I think you have in, uh, before you uh, the, the request. I think the only addition we have requested for is in 30018 mileage. And that's used by many offices uh, besides ourselves. With that, Dr. Kumaro, yeah. sorry, microphone. Um, with that, Dr. Kumaro, um, there's two vehicles are putting off to the site. For, well, one's Sheila's, uh, but the other one is uh, top mileage. Tahoe, and that's used for uh, um, in the pool. Pool car. Right. So you, you need to. Yeah. Do we still need uh, in spite of the pool car? Okay. Yeah. Because I think that several me several members uh, keep submitting. It's not that we are using it, but uh, they no, keep but submitting. It would be the commissioner's directive that to motivate for the car. If possible, you need to use the pool car. If, okay. uh, if right. possible. If it's, this happens only if the pool car is not available. Yeah. Is that correct, Dan? Okay. Well, when you go to the ABC conference and or anything else like that, or like voter registration today, they were driving to Indianapolis, so I just asked them to take one vehicle between the two of them. You're going to have to, you're gonna have to try to put that in the middle of the microphone so everybody can. Okay. Sorry. Well, so, so you just told them to use one vehicle and then turn in mileage? Correct. Was, yeah. No. Well, we, we pay them back. No. No. That's no. a personal vehicle. So, so see, that's, yeah, so we need to be consistent with this. We need to say, hey, if, there, like you said, if there's a pool vehicle available, that's what they use. Right. Okay? Absolutely. The, the other thing is, is this... The way we do it, if we have a car available for you to use and you drive yourself, you don't get paid mileage. Yeah, don't come back so with that. It's, it's 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 not a which one do you want? It's when we got a vehicle. If we check and there's a vehicle available, then we don't reimburse for mileage. They can use that vehicle. So, Dan, we can actually, even though that's how what we've been doing, but I think we can send a memo to remind everyone that. Okay. Do you know how many pool vehicles there are right now? Two. Mm -hmm. 
Jeff Petrowski was using one if whenever he needs it. And Mitch Mitchell. Yeah. Otherwise, I can't. Otherwise, we have to pay can't hear you. mileage. Mitch Bishop is one person, otherwise I pay a mileage. And the other what person is Jeff. Yeah, yeah, Jeff Wiatrowski needed to go do anything before they get their second vehicle. He was using the other pool car. He was using like the van, wasn't he? Correct. Yes. That is correct. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, but what department well, is Jeff? Excuse me? What department is Jeff? EMA. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just so we get this, Thanks. let me make a point clear on this one. Uh, because of the fact of the matter that the reason why the mileage got cut is for a simple reason why we had two pool cars and the commissioners took the cars and traded them in. So that's why we were. That's why I got cut. Everybody knows what happens. Let's just get it off on the table right no, now. No, I, I wasn't worried about that. I was just curious it. about why somebody else was, who's not a department head, was using the vehicle that much. So let me let, let I, me I don't uh, understand. That's all. Let me send a little bit of a correction to that, Mark, because to not throw these two under the bus, yeah. I know they they had nothing to do with it. When we say commissioners, there was one commissioner, and it was last year, yep. and he traded all three vehicles on his own. Um, without without uh, conferring with anyone else, uh, so that uh, he would be able to get a new vehicle. The reason why I just want to make a clarification. So the, I don't know how I'm putting back the original amount, but you know why it was cut. So. Yeah, I appreciate that. But I think we have been very cautious in how we use it, and we'll continue to do that. But I, yeah. but I would think that the commissioners could issue or change that county policy that states that if, if a pool car is available, you will not be reimbursed mileage, period. And they could check with Diane. Is there a pool right. car available? Yes, no. Then we'll, it's we'll, definitely, we'll do a right. clarification memo on that one, yes. Good deal. And right now, there's how many pool cars? Two. 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 One is what, that um, van? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. what's the second one? It's an envoy, and Mitch Bishop uses that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be a one coming because Mitch was turning in mileage. Correct. Yeah, so it's very high. Yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. And then there'll be another one coming from the sheriff's department when they trade, right? Exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the uh, a comment on the the postage, and you guys have a machine. Uh, I think it's in the treasurer's office. Is that correct? Two. Go to Michigan City. One here. Correct. We've had going through several of the different departments that still are putting stamps on things because they're not bringing they're not bringing letters over building department had quite a bit in their postage still and they said well we tried the machine but like a couple times and we didn't want to do it so so we're cutting their postage but it needs to be a directive from the commissioners that this is where the postage machine is. You need to bring your mail over sure. once or twice a day or whatever they need to do. Now, larger packages, we understand that, you know, sometimes the, the building department and there was another sheriff's department, they have yeah. to ship firearms sometimes or something like that. Returns and things. Right. Yeah. We, we'll, we'll send that memo then. Okay. Okay. 30065 Professional Consulting Services. We used it for 86907 last year. We used it 46994 So if we're, we're on the same uh, amount to have that, then we go from 130 to 90000 please. A reduction then of 40? 40. 40. What'd you count again? I'm sorry. 30065. Professional Consulting. Okay. Reduction of nothing more. There. It, 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 it. You used eighty six thousand nine hundred and seven last year. You used forty six thousand nine ninety four this year. You have the same amount that you'd be using, so I cut it to ninety thousand. Okay. <clears throat> no, I'm just looking at everything. I don't I don't I I don't see anything else really. Just making my own gestures. The only question is uh, Programs and promotions, you zeroed that out of your budget? That that was for, that's for how we paid ALCO. So that should be zero. Okay. Okay. And can we get an understanding why 32058 training and services is now at zero from 175,000? Because that was that, I believe that was that. Hearing the grant 
uh, for the workers out there. So or tra economic training, development. Economic uh, training. Train, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's, uh, when you drop something, you need an explanation like that. All right. Have you guys work, been working on that at all? That, because I know that, that grant was dropped and. They have not. Uh, they have not asked for yeah. the reimbursement, right, Dan? The they failed they to use the money yet. Yeah. The money's just been sitting there. Well, they haven't received any payments out of it, that's my understanding. They, they have not taken any money out of that account yet. Right. Correct. So it's dated February uh, 2018, and they have five years to use that 175, uh, and no claim has been made in the last year and a half. I guess my question is, commissions. Do you have to know what? Have to know if there's somebody. No, don't want to take the service. Do not want to offer? Or? You know, I, we have two options. One is we can uh, go and ask them why you are not using. But if they're not asking for it, I thought we'll sit tight on it. I would it. like to. Well, they're supposed to be <laughs> training like, employees. Uh, they're supposed to be training. So, so I would like so that. Yes. Yeah. Just to clarify, um, yesterday I asked Tony Rodriguez, our office of community and economic development, to go and find out right. what, how that company is doing. What is the status of the training? And why we. Don't don't want to offer them, uh, remind them about the 175. If they're doing the work, they should know about that, and we'll find out. So we will. We, will, we are exploring all options. Okay. Um, Amoresco was supposed to come back and talk to us about energy savings that we had performed. Um, all we got when they sent to us was the contract for phase two, which was not what we asked for. We, and under the contract. I believe at your commission's meeting that I don't know this that they said they were done they've completed all their assignments, but yet nobody's come back to the council to tell us how much money we've actually saved. That was part of it. The, they metered it. They were supposed to tell us what was going on. And so I received absolutely we'll, nothing. We'll follow up on that. We'll follow okay. up on that. Yeah. I don't know if you got anything on that. Okay. And uh, second one, you know it's just coming up. So I'm gonna ask you again. So I went to the county home with a bunch of us yesterday. What's going on? This was promised almost eight months ago. They yeah, you know, with the county home, we have uh, three options. One is to sell it. Mm -hmm. uh, in that selling, you know, if there's somebody who's interested, we can sell it or we can auction it. Or uh, the third thing that we have been trying is to um, do the tax credit project. But unfortunately, we have not been scoring well. And the other thing is that there are a lot of other communities who are um, um, putting up very competitive bids for that uh, tax credit money. So we have talked about it and said, you know, should we try it one more time? Now, the uh, is it the up development, UP development? You know, they said that it, that it's not impossible, but the chances are, are less that we'll be able to, unless we modify the kind of local support uh, that we can give for that project. Um, so I was, uh, um, I, the, the, the idea that I've been uh, thinking about is maybe we can invite the UP development and have like a, a joint session with the council. Is that funny? I yeah. got disrespectful. Look, we, we've discussed this more than, than I can imagine. All right. By all means, the council has asked for support to sell it. Right. We've sent things to your commissioners to do this. We are done with the programs. We're done with that. We did the last one. We, we bent over backwards for the person that came in here for the last thing. Could she couldn't come with the money? All right. We want to sell it. We want to get this thing offered because the building is deteriorating. We just went through it again yesterday. Have you been through it, Doctor? No, not it's recent. It's deteriorating. Not recent. And so we need to move on. I don't know how, how else to put it. The question is, uh, would, would the council be interested in a, a joint workshop to hear from UP development? Is there a basis for one last application? No, we, we did, I, Mark, Mark, Mark and the council has already voted to send the message to you guys. You have received it. We said move on. Okay. It was move and on a year ago. Notice we did exactly what the, the commissioners did what yep. you wanted when it came to the farmland. We got the, the lease done again, as, as you directed. Uh, it, it's not as if folks are bending over backwards to buy the place. Well, then we're going to start by an auction. Let's just move on. What yeah, happened to the individual who was there on. last year that wanted to buy it? Yeah. Well, then he all of a sudden wanted to buy all the Yeah, they, they said somebody's interested, but then nobody showed up after but, that. But no, he didn't all of it. But I don't believe the commissioners have ever advertised it for sale. Mm -hmm and say we're going to take sealed bids or we're going to take bids on okay. the building in the five acres that we originally were going to split off. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll definitely See if somebody's out there once. What would, let me ask you this. What was the third appraisal? You did get that third one, didn't you? Yeah. You know, offhand, I don't remember the number. Uh, I mean, they raised wildly from a million on the one side to 60,000 on the low. Exactly. And so what was that third one? We don't know. Ish? I, no. I don't remember. Based on, yeah. More land because 
you know, yeah. we, we asked originally for the building. That was many, many years ago. Right. Then we went from the building to the farmland and see what was, because there is a gentleman that didn't want the whole thing. He didn't walk away. Right. We just didn't give him a price. Right. So we need to move this thing on here, and I, and I don't know how to do it. We've okay. got plenty of our support, my letters okay. of support saying, you fine, sell it. We tried it a thousand times. We, it's not working. Let's move on. All right. Let's put it to we'll, bed. We'll, 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 okay. we'll, I got we'll a question. Push forward again, yeah. Wasn't there one point of contention with that barn out front also? I know the... Was that no, but the barn was not included in that. Okay, five so acres one without the right, barn. Not at all. No, no okay. barn was not. It's just the uh, five acres with the five acres and the home. building and the building. Yeah. So let us know if there's some dumpster fees. Let's get community or, or get corrections or some sheriff will work with us or somebody clean that place out. It's full of. A lot of stuff's crap. Now, some of the stuff is valuable. If you want to use it, that's fine. Let's get it out of there. Let's go because you're not going to sell it the way it is. Let's sweep the floors. Let's at least make it presentable for going to sell it. Let's just do the right. When Larry was here yesterday, he thinks you can use uh, with the sheriff, get with the sheriff, and use some of the work release people out there. Okay. okay. He's cleaning it. it. Got There's it. an awful yeah. lot of stuff still in there. Right. <coughs> we'll work on it, and then I'll come back at your next meeting and give you an update. Yeah. And it's yeah. Sorry, like. We have phones that we're not going to use anymore. Of course, put on the market if you can, but if they're no good, that's fine. Paint that needs to go to that when they do the, rec, uh, uh, when they do the collection. Uh, uh, Larry, Larry will go through that. Yeah, we need all those things, so we got to move this thing going. Okay. We'll definitely do it. I have one question. Not, yeah. Nothing to do with the county home, but the am update on the ambulance space, the, I know it's going to be moved. And is there any date on that, or is it? Yeah, the uh, target it is uh, October 28th uh, through November 1st is likely the move date at that point. Our QAW has provided a full calendar and we'll make sure all the council members get that because there's an update on all the different pieces of that that probably needs to be provided to you. Okay, and, and also we need a place for the ambulance service while that is happening, yeah. so for like for about two, three months. So I met with um, Andrew and RQW, and we are trying to work with the hospital and see if we can find yeah. a temporary place for about two, three months till we make they, that move. And check with Laporte Fire Department to see if they can house them for that period of time. Laporte Fire Department, okay. We'll, we'll yeah, that definitely likely, suggest that. Yeah. Since they work so closely together, you think they could probably do that for almost nothing? And, sure. Yeah, and having living quarters too for exactly. them. Exactly. Right. Resting uh, quarters. Hmm? Yeah. Resting port. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, on the we ambulance don't, base close, in so. Michigan City, if there's the money left over, uh, I think there's going to be, because I know they've ordered a couple new ambulances, I believe, that uh, it's going to be too large to put in that old facility. I guess there has to be some renovation. So some of the money will be utilized to renovate the, and RQW has a plan for that also. We're knocking out that, that North Bay uh, three feet to accommodate the larger ambulances. So that's part of the 100000 that is allocated for the Michigan City uh, EMS location. Okay, it's been allocated. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you. Did, and what did you say you think the ballpark date of moving this one is? Uh, October 28th through November 1st. All right, somewhere in there. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. End of October. Um, is there... Is there something in here? Uh, we had the, uh, a workshop yesterday on some of the uh, IT issues and stuff. Is that, is there, or is that coming up under yours? So, you shaking her head? Yeah. No. They, they have not included any money for that. For that, I, that's not here. We just allocate that separate. We'll do yeah, that first. That's fine. Or when we need it. All right. Motion approved with the changes made. Second. Motion by Mr. Yugowski, seconded by Mr. Santana. Holdenauer and Santana. Holdenauer and Santana. Uh, with the, uh, I've got uh, one reduction. Yeah. yeah. One reduction, one, one reduction change. of $40,000 on line 30065. And then the change and then the 30072. Change. Correct. Correct. Um, any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Thank you. Next item is economic development. ED. Do they have a copy for the economic development? I can't read this. Here's Tony. Question, Mr. President. Question, Mr. President. Yes. Does this get 
taken off and put on for the first agenda of the month. Push that trend to the design. That's where we fund the appropriate money. Is that correct, Mrs. Winsky? This money is appropriated first of the year? Correct. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah, so we've nailed that. We don't need to. And about Amorisco stuff again. No, that's not mine. Uh, Darlene so just delivered it. Came from over. I, I think it's an amorous. Got off the press, too. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. You got that paper. Well, that's good. Saved for you. Yes, you did. Thank you. 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 Thank Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, is this on? Good morning. Can you hear me now? Yes. Good morning. Tony Rodriguez, Director of the Office of Community and Economic Development. Glad to be here. Really? You like it. <laughs> I don't mean I'm friends, so I don't mean I get more friends. All right. We usually fund this first of the year, so uh, I'm not sure what the council wants to do. Well, this is not, this is not a uh, budgetary amount because it goes to a contractor out. It goes to a contractor, right, Mrs. Winsky? So this is just a yes, courtesy. Yes, so you. Courtesy. We, right. It's just a. Uh, it's, going to go, it's, got, right. it's going to be pulled to go into the, it's this is it's informational. Informational, correct. I see. This gets voted on January 1st. I understand. So, you want to just, do you want to go yeah. through it? Talk your about budget it. there? Just yeah. so that everybody knows what you're doing, it's what you're planning at on? your pleasure, but I will absolutely can go through. Very similar to the 2019 <laughs> budget that was proposed to the, uh, as submitted, but the uh, supplies in in total there at uh, seventeen thousand. The professional services, which in a culmination is myself and the newest uh, addition, our community development specialist uh, Bailey McGrath, who has joined the team as of Monday. So we are extremely excited to have her aboard. The uh, the one. Uh, Modest change at 12,000 is accommodating the LaPorte County Rural Broadband Task Force Initiative, which uh, has the sole uh, intent to further deploy uh, high speed and internet, excuse me, high speed internet and broadband technologies to underserved areas of LaPorte County, which is a 24 member appointed body that is. Uh, has the the objective of doing just that, getting getting high speed internet to the the most rural reaches of Laporte County that are truly unserved, uh, and that work is uh, we've held three meetings so far. Uh, this will allow the task force to uh, expand slightly its its initiative. Um, travel as part of the overall marketing strategy uh, we have some targeted industries and some international uh, in industrial concerns that are targeted for 2020 and this is done very closely in conjunction with the Northwest Indiana Forums Ignite the Region uh, marketing strategy. So our budget is very closely aligned with and working in tandem. So it's uh, it, this is the portion that would leverage additional state dollars to then be attending these internet, not the international, but the domestic targeted industries, uh, trade shows, and then site selector workshop, workshops as well. Um, of printing and advertising, uh, we have within that would accommodate the continued update of a annual report and then also uh, spotlighting the initiatives that are underway. And we're looking to do this in a manner that is uh, 
as automated as possible. So we are, uh, with Bailey just joining the team and her extensive marketing experience and her finger on the pulse of today's technologies, we're now gathering as much uh, support data as we can for doing this, the virtual site tours for site selectors and doing it in a manner that maximizes the resources available. Um, so, uh, and then getting, coming down to the membership and dues, these are the, the customary that we, uh, as an economic development entity, uh, remain in, in close communication with, obviously supporting the both the Michigan City and LaPorte Chambers, uh, LaPorte Economic Advancement Partnership. Um, and then uh, the, the rail summit is a, a very active, uh, interactive uh, venue that that uh, my first attendance this year in in up in Chicago was an extremely productive uh, discussion with the the deal makers that put together larger rail projects in uh, in Tony on this uh, North America professional services you have web you have a website for five thousand dollars we have the county was supposed to implement your website you're supposed to be entering yourself why, why do you have five thousand dollars allocated the well, the, the reason that that remained in uh, this is the the economic community and economic development website is auto it's autonomous from the county's website. So if you click the link, I don't know why we pay five. You guys are installing it yourself. You should be doing it yourself. Why? Why are we? Why is it five thousand dollars? Well, I. I I plugged that figure in so that we would have the necessary support to if we needed to gather additional content but that you're absolutely correct it is done in-house um, we were wanting to add the virtual site tour feature to the website where we uh, we work very closely with the state's uh, zoom prospector we, we're yeah. wanting to add if we had to outsource some of the uh, the drone footage uh, and, and gathering some of the more sophisticated data type, and then if we needed the technical support, so it's it's anticipated. And you are exactly correct. This will all be done in house. So Spring and advertising. We have it in house. What are, what are you doing that you have to print that we don't print in house? Um, primarily advertising is what what, we're, what are we doing advertising yes that's quite a bit asking for 12 five what are we doing advertising it is it uh, I can provide a, a detailed list okay. of, of where the we got to, we got to the first week. I just gotcha okay. yeah okay. It, it's not questions. printing that that's not where that number comes from it's primarily the targeted industries where we've identified publications that address a particular industry the compressor uh, cluster was one that we had anticipated trying to get into their trade publications with some some of the more internet-based uh, angles to to make end roads with that industry. Okay. Mr. Santana? Yeah, I got to um, Can you do this between, like he says, well, we're, we're going to appropriate this money in January like we do each year, but can you, um, between now and then or whenever, um, give get me the 2019 figures right next to this so I could see what you spent last year and compared to what you're asking for this year. What year last year? Well, whatever the department, whatever the department spent. Absolutely. Okay, please. Yeah. And then my second thing is, let's go back up here to this uh, task force, which I agree that um, we need to offer that broadband. What is that? Twelve? You said a twenty-four member board. Correct. Well, there, it's a. These are volunteers that were appointed. Uh, okay. After close communication with uh, uh, Commissioner Matias and in consultation with the industry professionals and the state of Indiana. Uh, uh, there they have the World Broadband uh, Initiative that works through the Lieutenant Governor's Office. These were recommendations that came out of that office as the most effective means to to identify where your weaknesses are and then address those weaknesses with the specific vendors in the industry and and doing it in a methodical manner so that uh, we don't just issue a request for proposal, select a vendor, and uh, we're, we have the 
luxury to learn from what our neighbors have done in this industry and max, truly maximize the county's uh, telecommunications infrastructure because it is, it's such an integral part of economic development today. We should note that the office does have an application pending with the state uh, the Okra office, Lieutenant Governor's office, on a potential grant for rural broadband. I think we're waiting to hear, and hopefully yep. the decision is yet even this month. I think yes. we talked about that. Okay. Uh, there so are actually there. two, two to both Comcast and Acme Communications that have aggressively prepared a uh, the grant applications, and that would those would. Would we get news on that? They will be significant at expanding tele telecommunications and broadband. So the 24 members are volunteers? They are, absolutely so are. Can you give me an example of what the $12,000 is being spent for? This, well, it's it's a budgeted figure. We, we know that no data, a map does not exist for LaPorte County that then identifies all of the vendors, my hopes are to utilize and find methods to do this in the most cost-effective manner to prepare that those maps. Uh, it very minor in terms of accommodating. We have a monthly meeting the first Friday of each month, um, and that's a roughly a two hundred dollar. Um, uh, the, we there's no compensation, but we do offer coffee and a roll. And so when you have we, we host those meetings, we cover a small expense at each one of those meetings. Okay. And we want to do that professionally, do it right. We each each individual meeting at some point we may anticipate having an outside contractor prepare some specific information. So what I'm doing is trying to forecast uh, the support so that 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 committee can be most effective and getting what we want to get done okay. done. I was just okay. I was just curious. Anybody have any other questions or we'll hold yes. this? Yes, go ahead. Um, it's just a general uh, US 30 coalition. Yes. Where we stand with that? What were plans of the county being partaking in it or because this has been going around for months it, now it, and I just wanted has. to follow up. It, it sure has and it your your ears must have been ringing. The reason I was slightly tardy is I had spent uh, roughly 30 minutes on the phone with uh, Rex Richards on Porter County's position with the Route 30 corridor uh, the coalition and their, what position they're taking this year. Um, so I've we we have had extensive discussion. We've uh, I've been attending the South County Coalition's meetings to gather their desire. Um, with all that being said, there's I, I can follow up you further. The ten thousand dollar right request. now. Right now, it's in general that we're still not moving forward or right. to join. At this point, we have not joined. No, they are not joined. Actually, I have asked Tony to participate in the South County meetings and get a sense of what the South County Coalition wants because I think they, they are the biggest stakeholder. <laughs> well, it was clear to me they wanted $10,000. Yeah, that's the uh, and, yeah. US 30 Coalition. The US 30. $10,000. Yeah, they're not the US 30 no, no, 10, no, But the South County Coalition had suggested that we join for a year. For and a that's year. the point. That's his point. Okay. And I, I just want to make that clear because yeah. this. And how many we years has it been going? This is about the fifth year, fifth, yeah. my understanding. So if um, we jumped in at the beginning, that had been $50,000 out the window. For, and they haven't moved correct. forward with anything. Yeah. And to the council's credit and the commission's credit, you've held off to wait and see. And as, as Councilman knows, there is a real split of opinion down in South County about it, goes, so. the, the, the challenge, and I've been communicating uh, almost on a weekly basis with Mitch, our county planner, who's immediately in the know as to how these infrastructure projects get funded, and Mitch has a, a, a correct opinion about the fact that without a, des, a designation number, those funds are truly speculative. Those funds are not being spent the I most think there wisely. might come a time where we do need to get in, but at this point... Uh, um, the, 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 the balancing act that we're trying to pay close attention to, as uh, many of everyone involved, is that if 
you don't have that seat at the table and there is discussion about a particular direction, we've missed the opportunity. In LaPorte County, with roughly 89 curb cuts on Route 30 alone, we're probably one of the most impacted counties in a, in a major proposed initiative to change that complexion of traffic. So we we must be at the table. We need a seat at the table. And it's when uh, to join the table. We've been at the table so far without so, yeah, contributing. We're, we're trying to preserve taxpayer keep dollars. Doing it, right. Have a listening ear at the table, be receptive at the table without paying for yeah. something that doesn't. Yeah. There's a lot of other communities that have a lot more mysterious. where the US 30 is going right through downtown and right. other things that have Absolutely. a lot more. At stake, really. At stake, yeah. 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 Right now, yeah. And, we're, and we still have to deal with uh, the, the J turn issue unless that has gone away. And some county folks were not happy with that J turn. You know, they, I think they were opposed no. to it yeah. from what I hear. The, the reality is traffic counts are <laughs> the traffic counts on Route 30 being not being a toll road. They are increasing significantly on an annual basis. So, yep. Uh, Does anybody have anything else? Of, no, just just like I say, if you could do show us uh, what was spent in 2019, and maybe if you, even if you went back like a couple years and understanding that you weren't there, I just just that. for 18, seven, 2018, 17 for comparison. Yeah, I, yeah, I absolutely, absolutely do that cool. as well. As I needed to, to get the, the six month report to. If not, we'll hold it over till our first meeting in January. Yep. Okay. Real quick, Mr. Carr. Yes. Are, are, are we at any point where he needs to come back to us? Do you need to come back to us for more funding? Because I didn't, I know we didn't fully fund my understanding year. that I do. I, uh, I did not hear you. What'd you say? I, I was at what point? I was just checking with him. At what point does he need to come back to us? Because we did not fully fund him for 2019. January. Oh no, for this year. But you, you said you give him half in January and half in at half. So it's automatically half, half in July. But he started the year with you rolled over some money. Right. You rolled over part of it. Yeah. Okay. We'll figure it was. I, 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 I just didn't know if we were there yet. We need to correct uh, something. Just let us know. We'll see. Yeah. So we'll work with him. Mr. Sure you guys. Uh, commissioners, um, I would hope that <clears throat> we, this report here is not really well written, but it says that we only, out of all the money we spent, we only are supposed to be guaranteed twenty thousand dollars, and they claim that we we gained seven million dollars profit off this thing. So. So we don't spend money on a report. Could I ask that you get your department heads together? Maybe Andy and, and uh, Dr. Could, or Commissioner and uh, whoever could be on this. Could we evaluate this report so we can get, I know what they wrote, but can we evaluate it so we don't waste our money on this report? And Sheila, this was, this was supposed to be for energy savings, and we've had nothing but problems since this, this report's come out with different energy plants that we had throughout, the, or, throughout this organization. So this was a re this is a final report that we paid for. Can we get this to make sure we got our bang for our dollar? Okay. And do not ask yeah. them for another report. Would you, would you like to have one? like Mark come uh, here, or should we do first our internal? Why not have Mark here, Brant, and the Amoresco folks come up? I mean, oh, absolutely. Do what you want to do. I, I'm going to ask you how to do it. Okay. I'm just saying that that let's put the groups together and let's at least you know like people that, that are in these different departments that are part of this group. Let's bring the engineer. With, you know, uh, maintenance, all that stuff. Because we were promised some savings and we put a lot of money on it. Right. Okay. I think what we can do is we can review it internally and then have Mark Hairband come and join the conversation right. and address some of the concerns. As long as that we, we show the citizens that we paid, what's the time right. paying for a button? Don't That's ask them for another report because it's $5,100. It's you have another report. This is your report. So this charge you. Right. It might charge you to come up. I don't know. Right. Um, do you do you want to talk about in-house printing with them or no? And the we, other thing is the yeah, we, took, we took care of that right. It's your request to move it over to maintenance. Yeah. Okay, the, and the other thing is the um, fair management money. Do you? It's it's, it's going to be in a separate line item. Okay, but it's not going to be under their control now. Is that what? Originally, it was under their control. It should be under their control. Yeah. Now you have a board, though. Do you want? If they form a board, does that board have a budget? Well, we, 
the, the budget's fine if you want the board to do it, but the final, when they write the checks, they're supposed to okay it. And that's all that, that's how we look at it. Because they correct point. all the claims. I mean, okay all the claims. You I still believe want the commissioner should correct the check system, sure. Okay. The board, can, the board can come up if they want, right? You have to correct it. If there's good, bad, or you have to go through it. Right. Okay. That's best. Okay. We put you in charge of that to make sure our money is going to spend. Okay. So I, I have a question about FMEC. Um, on January 1st, 2020, the county will take over full control of the, the county fair property. And in that um, taking over, there we are then not only insuring it, which we are doing now, but we'll also be maintaining the facilities and maintaining the property completely. Um, we need to. I asked Larry to prepare a budget. I thought he was going to be here today, and I guess you heard him yesterday. Um, she is. Our facilities. Okay. So. Um, there's a budget that Larry prepared. He went through all of the buildings. He tried to figure out how much it would cost for snow removal, uh, mowing, all of that. Rather than outsourcing that, which is has been done before, that's a, it seems that we should have an, a, a county employee who's assigned to the fair, and then perhaps during the summer when uh, we have more maintenance needed uh, because of the crowds and the events, uh, that we um, use part-time um, help for that. So uh, Larry prepared a budget, and I was hoping we could have a chat to chat about that. Is that something that uh, the council's pleasure whether we would look to fund first of the year? Or we, would we don't even know what the number is. $111,000. So, you know, I, mean, I don't know if you have time to go through this whole thing, but in the past, who was taking care of all this maintenance? The fair. Board. Oh, and the old fair board. Now, the fair board's not, not going to be involved in that. They they, they would uh, do it, but somebody's got to pay the people to do it. If, if the fair so you know, gets the we've got a meeting scheduled August 7th between representatives of the Fairgrounds Event Management Corp Board, the Ag Association, and the county to come up with the final lease uh, in terms of how things are going to go forward. So perhaps we can report that. The agreement hasn't been finalized. Yeah, yeah, there's there's no not yeah. yeah. sounds good. Sheila, you, you, you looking at it too? Because, yes, I am. Because right here, he's already showing four employees. Uh, they're one full time and some part time employees. But he's showing it annually, and like you said, maybe we would need them in the summer. But we want to we want to be paying them yearly well, if, we, if we're only going to use them part time. Sorry, using one. So one would be an annual, and then the other, uh, the three part-timers, two of them would be um, housekeepers, for example, maintenance. Uh, we're going to have to have someone bring some of those buildings up to code. So that's um, th that, that's the part-time people that would be uh, supervised by Larry. Um, in addition, if you may remember, the um, we got the $21,000 for the annual lease of the 100 acres. So that's, the, that's currently revenue coming into the pot. Uh, so just wanted to make sure you had that on oh, your radar. Yeah. But again, with us, we have to look at other alternatives because there, there is a hiring freeze. There still maintenance has an extra employee that we haven't used yet that, that was uh, part of the uh, county home. So we have to look at best person. I mean, we're not even close to considering this yet because, like I said, we're not considering employees right now because we're under hiring freeze. So. And with that one full timer, of course, I don't think that he probably put in your benefits for that one. Uh, of course, our part timers don't get, but. That package would probably be a little bit even more than the thirty-six five nine six. So, so the goal would be just um, to anticipate further questions. The goal would be that we would uh, have some sort of revenue sharing. So, as the county uh, property becomes developed, and we we need to bring in revenue from that property, which we have not done very well, if at all, in the past. So the goal would be to do some sort of revenue sharing model so that we are then reimbursing the county for this investment. Because obviously it's owned by the taxpayers. It needs to be um, the taxpayers. Uh, right. We need to be responsible to the taxpayers. So we need to figure out a formula where we are putting, uh, if there are event fees and, and uh, rental fees and all of that, that we are reimbursing the taxpayers for that investment. And then we are also maintaining and ensuring the property as, as a county, a county. Um, yep. And how much additional investment are they looking to make so that they can bring in this revenue? So that is a really very large question. Uh, we have to develop because when we were out at the fair, we saw some foam boards that had some. 
pretty big plans on it. Yeah, um, some of those plans are um, being um, floated, I would say, by the um, the existing ag association and um, right. that. So the building proposals are by the ag association. Those are buildings they're proposing that they would build. Those aren't buildings they're asking the county to build. So there's. There's a whole lot of things yeah. in the works right now. So we're going to anticipate, too, I think it's already been discussed, that once they get a manager out there, like you say, to market it, to um, to get some more um, you know, activities going on and to generate some funds, that we'll probably be asked for that startup money for the salary for that individual, you guys. So just kind of keep that in mind, we're, too. We're, we're struggling right now to come up with the – we're working hard. Let's put it this way. I wouldn't say struggling to come up with the revenues to cover the yearly maintenance. So we're, we're working diligently to not have to come back to the council for those funds. And that's what I hope on this meeting coming up is, is going to generate, because I had some discussions with <coughs> some fair members yesterday, and they s seem to be understanding. So, all right, anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Yep, thank you. Yeah. Public defender. No. Oh, there's my information. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Let me just start off by just showing you a few points here on the, on the, on the proposed budget. Uh, you graciously uh, to meet our uh, reimbursement requirements gave me eighty-five thousand for two new petitions in eighteen. Of that amount, uh, twenty-one thousand two fifty will come back because we didn't hire the people until April. So uh, the expended budget would have been for two thousand nineteen nine twenty-six three sixty-five minus. The twenty-one thousand two hundred and fifty, um, and the ninety, the nine twenty-six three hundred and sixty-five would be would fund the current people for the next year. Um, the other part of that, as you heard in the workshop, is the Rule Twenty Six issue, um, and based upon what I'm advised that we will have to do by the committee, um, I'm going to need three people at forty thousand. That's the additional 120,000, which are all fully reimbursable positions. Uh, so that net cost to the county would be $60,000 uh, if the uh, if the uh, council approves it. In addition, um, in the past, um, we were able to provide uh, lawyers to various courts for the veterans court, problem solving, the entry court, juvenile. Um, those, if we get the new positions, those those people also take over those functions. Those have traditionally been unpaid positions where uh, public defenders who didn't, who were not meeting their case load requirements would fill in, but now everybody is doing their maximum plus more. So uh, again, we would take those three new people in addition to doing the Rule 26 positions uh, would also handle those particular courts for justice. Mr. Yagowski. Uh, I'll start. Uh, I'll make a motion first and then I'll have a question. Motion to for public defender number 180 as read. Motion by Mr. Yagowski. Is there a second? Second. Is there any other yes. questions? Yes, sir. Uh, so um, with the well, all that's been presented to us is a somewhat um, uh, convoluted uh, thing about how we're going to implement this. So we may have to adjust this, even if we can approve this budget this time. You know, we have time to first and second reading. So I understand how you've written it, but um, we still have we, we have some ideas maybe where the money can come from. So. Yeah, and I understand that. And, and, and when I was at the workshop, I understood that this issue of all these Rule 26 expenses were going to come up in regard to budget hearing. Uh, when I attended all those meetings, uh, this was the amount of service I was told was going to be needed, so this is how I, I understand. Uh, budget right. So it depends upon how you like to do everything else, that may or may not affect that. Yeah, okay. And now also we... If 
maybe this is under claims under the second one, but we put some more money back in the account because we had taken too much out. Are you okay with the balance? Is that on this one or the next? Well, you're talking about the. Uh which one you I'm, not quite sure. 14. I'm not quite sure. Is it, is it under 314? Well, 14, okay. Litigation expenses, you, you've got 100000 there. Um, I see up to date we spent thirty nine. I, I just never know what that is. Litigation expenses are, for the most part, I don't know. Uh, the cost of depositions for public defenders. Mm -hmm. But the biggest cost is transcripts. And so transcripts are, are determined based upon how many appeal, appeals take place, how many times the judge appoints the public defender. In addition, we will get periodic requests to the judges from people who are already incarcerated, whose cases are old, and they want a copy of the transcript from the judge then orders that. So almost all of these expenses in the litigation are expenses that I've been ordered to pay by the court. So Mrs. Mrs. Wetzke, when I we put money me. back into his account, which account did we put that I, money back yeah, I, I, was, I was asking for a question, not a statement, so which we, one did we, we put? We put it back into the supplemental, which is um, which back is of 314. 314. Okay. Right, and I, I want to... Um, you gave him two extra people this year, um, so uh, that under professional services three one three zero one three five, mm -hmm. that first number should be nine hundred twenty six thousand three hundred sixty five dollars. Nine twenty six, sorry. Nine twenty six three six five. So if you can change your book to to reflect Good. that. So and, I, and I have a question. How did we? How, how were you able to determine, or how did they suggest the three people for criminal rule twenty six? The uh, the indication was is that we would need to have a public defender there every day, um, and they would they would start in the morning, and then they would conclude with the court call on on. Um, the afternoon. So they would do the prep with the arrested individuals in the morning and the court call is supposed to be one o'clock every day. Yeah. And that's how we that's how we figured the amount of time or what we were doing. And that that was based on um, the information that we gathered from other counties, how they were um, handling the and criminal based rule twenty six caseloads and right. what they anticipate right. the amount of there, people. There going are to. I can't remember how many um, pilot counties. Do you remember how many? Nine or ten. Yeah. No, I, 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 this is some information that we got. I was not anticipating three, so I thought that number was a little higher than what I was thinking. The good thing about his is, is that they're reimbursable, 50% yeah, of the reimbursable, so and, and, up and to 60. I don't, know, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. I don't know in practice because this is brand uh, new. Uh, uh, no, I understand. Yeah, in terms of how, it, how it's right. going to work. Right. I, I, I just, this, is, this is just a proposal. This had nothing has been finalized, so. That was, right. right. was our committee report that we right. questioned. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So no, I'm, I'm good. I just wanted to see if there was some other background that I didn't have. Did you hear a dog bark? It wasn't me. No, we need to vote on this one now. All right, now so it's your motion. This is with the new number, though. We have a we have a motion on 180 with the new number, correct, correct. Mr. Yagowski? Correct. Yes. Is there a second? Yes, I did, and Mr. I. Mr. Santana. With that correction, sure. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, thank you. The next item is 314, supplemental. Claims. Not much to do on Make this. the motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Sullivan. I mean, motion by Mr. Rosenbaum. Second by Mr. Sullivan. Uh, any other questions? If he needs it, he'll come back. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. That's it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Lance. Okay. Any changes to Superior Court three? This court, this was uh, the judge. The judge is uh, detained in court. He had a longer. Uh, is there any changes on there that we? Uh, is it? I don't know. Um, no, it actually went down. No. One point seven. It was. But they asked if. Why don't we do Kathy while we're waiting for judge? They went from one fifty six, one sixty seven, to one forty seven. We could approve this. 
What do you want to do with 242? You want to do something now? Yes, yeah. yeah. Let's hear it. Motion approved. Motion by Mr. Sullivan. Second. Second by Mr. Santana. Yeah. Is there any questions? Are you doing lads? Yes, yeah. we are. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? And, and Thank you. say who made the motion again. Mr. Sullivan. Sullivan and Mr. Santana. Second. Thank you. Superior three. Or we want to do go to Kathy now. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna animal shelters done. Good morning. Good morning. Joe. Tell she's excited. Tell the judge we got it done. Tell judge what? So we have to come down here. What's happening? What's happening? Well, there are different colors. Everybody's got different colors. County election board. Okay, here we go. You're right. She's got to be right before that. It's a clerk's office 101. There you go. I don't know where I am. Uh, okay, as office supplies, you were at 10574 You used up 10289 which was right on track. You only spent 4672 which is below track. So you're you might have been pretty darn close. So what's the reason for the $2,000 increase? Uh, probably on office supplies. You're Is that what you're asking? I didn't hear what you said. Zero, zero, two zero, 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 one, office supplies. You were at 10574 You've asked to increase to 12000 Well, um, back in 2018, we were 10289 so. with the Yeah, with a budget of 11, mm -hmm. 11095 So you were right on budget. And so <clears throat> this year, you're still on the same budget to, to hit the ten thousand. Why did you ask for two thousand? I, I just increased it by a thousand. That one no, I increased, and then there were two down below that I okay. decreased. And actually, there's another one that we probably could decrease a little more. Okay, let's let's put the office supplies back at ten five seventy four. Then ten just ten five. Ten five. ten five on office supplies. So what are we taking? Fifteen hundred off. Yeah. Minus fifteen hundred. Okay. Where are you going next, Mark? I was looking at it real quick here in this. Um, okay. I'm so trying to understand this computer supplies. So you have two zero zero five two. What's computer supplies? Um, that would be uh, scanners. These are. No, this would be supplies. Scanners, scanners. You come back to us for that's a yeah, four hundred account. Could be so. supplies. So somehow the number was. You didn't expend anything in eighteen. You didn't spend anything this year, of course. No, we didn't. Toner? Maybe toner. Um, just computer supplies. Uh, some. It's leading the witness. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I believe it. So, what? What do you? Do we have the wrong numbers? You show you you used any money in eighteen or nineteen? Are you looking at are you look, Kathy? Mm -hmm. I'm looking. The look. sheet. The sheet next well, year. The sheet that I was given. It should be the same. Okay. So, if we look at that number here under two zero zero five two computer supplies, mm -hmm. we didn't spend any money in eighteen or nineteen. No, we didn't. Okay. So you've got five hundred dollars in there for next year. So we're going to zero that out. Is that okay? If you need computer supplies or scanners, then you come and ask. You can come and ask for those, right? Okay. I mean, you you haven't spent it, yeah, so that's fine. Two years. Five, yeah. Two. Two zero zero five two zero. Yep, minus five hundred there. Okay. What what do you have for maintenance contracts, uh, Kathy? Uh, maintenance contracts would be, um, we have a, a reader, an old-fashioned reader, that reads our tapes, and it's old, it's and old he comes stuff. in quite often to fix that. It also, um, we have one copier left in our office that we pay on, and... Um, Darlene doesn't pick that up? Mm -mm. No, if if the if the if the no, no. Um, Adams Remco, we still use typewriters. They're in periodically for that. So that's basically what that covers. So last year, three thousand forty-three was spent. 
and is that an annual is that a figure that we could say that's what it's well, going to be it's no. a, there's a maintenance contract that we pay okay and how often annually or biannually it's annually and then we then when they come in if there's parts that need to be purchased we have to do that okay um, on the reader uh, we have to pay for whatever repair we is, is we there any on that. plans to upgrade that reader is there something no, you can do I don't now? know at this point I, um, it works they tell us every time they come in we don't know if we can fix it but they've been able to fix it I don't know if you've ever come in so what happens it, when they come in and they say we can't fix it anymore I don't what do know. you do we've got tape and tape and tape of backup that we hope that there's something that's can comparable we, can we send like through the, your fund start getting some of that converted to something else I'm just throwing out no, we, we just everything in our office is put on a backup it's on bolt and uh, we scan everything on boat and everything uh, in Odyssey now we're not doing so much because we're paperless now but everything prior to I would say 17 17 and then in 16 back um, we, we scan into boat and it's on a like a disk of tape and it you it goes in that machine and they read it and actually you can find any single document on any court case it's just a very old piece of equipment so what's going to happen when the machine does I, I don't know. I haven't talked to them about it. They've always been able to fix it at this point. So, I mean, do they sell new machines? What do you mean? I don't know. I haven't talked to them about it. They've always been able to fix it. I understand. But do they sell new machines? Or you don't know that? I don't know. Really? All right. Okay. I mean, I guess I mean, if we got to a point where they couldn't fix it, yeah, we just that question, it, it goes kaput. Just some future cabinets planning. And cabinets and cabinets right. full of tape that we read in that. But in just that. some future planning that if this is something, maybe next time they come in or when they come in, talk to them about that. And if it's if it's a future capital project that we need to look at, that's just something. We just see that as, as kind of a red flag that this thing's potentially going to Yeah, we'll put it on the radar, but right. give us an idea, you know, next okay, time, like you said. Them, right. Just ask them, right. what do these things sell for today? And I mean, I, I know that um, or to convert it. That you go to these uh, conferences and stuff. Do you guys talk about what the technology is that the goes through? A lot of uh, the clerks aren't doing backup anymore because they're uh, relying on the state of Indiana to do it for them. Um, I find that troublesome uh, to it's rely big, on the Indiana State to back up everything that comes into Odyssey. Uh, we are still at this point, and I, I we haven't really made decision at that point. Anything that's in Odyssey, technically, we are not scanning. We got files that are prior to that time that we are still putting in the system scanning, um, and that's what the readers for. I suppose at some point we won't be using it anymore. Hmm. Because we're on Odyssey now, we don't back up anything. Right. So, but we still have a lot of files that are being scanned in, so that we can destroy the file. Right. So you have a copy machine that you're paying per penny. I'm guessing. Per we have a copy machine that we just pay maintenance on. It, it's it's one in the vault. It's paid for, but we pay a maintenance contract on it. it still works. You don't mind, I'm darling, because she goes through all the stuff here. So, uh, so we, have, we have very few of them left, but there is a <clears throat> copy machine that's in the clerk's office. That's in the vault. The one in the vault. That's, so we're still paying a maintenance fee on. I we don't know. find out. Could you? We're all supposed to be. I totally yeah, understand. So it's in the vault. Okay. I'll and um, have you had any experience at all working with her reader that she's got in the machine? So you don't have experience at all. Okay. She sure. says it's it's like an obsolete. It's old. Yeah. So we were talking to her about converting some to of these some tapes or doing getting some plan in place so that if they do need to get information off those, when this machine takes a dump and it's no longer fixable, we're not well, lost or screwed. Yeah, I don't know. Dish, I can yeah. Look into. yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> and printer and the printer copier. All right. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Right. I'll get that. If it's not under our contract, I'll make sure it is under. And I've been in your clerk's office. That's a, that's a pretty that's a small unit. Right? Yeah, it's a small machine. Yeah. I think we got portals we can replace oh, yes. it with, and won't even cost us anything. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Any other questions, comments? 
Yeah, I got a couple here. Just let's go down the list here. Just a couple more. Skip down. Three zero 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 five. Printing supplies. What kind of printing in that are you doing? Do you use in-house printing? Uh, we use in-house printing on some things. Um, uh, Again, not everything. Yeah. We use Hayward on some of our clerk um, certified documents that we need, and Hayward um, does a lot of our printing for our clerk and for our election contract. Okay. Last year you spent twenty one sixty one. You're budgeted for five thousand or asking yeah, for five thousand. Sure you spent eighteen hundred and eighty four dollars halfway. And that one uh, that one you could reduce it. Okay. Yeah. What sounds good? Twenty five hundred? Well back in uh yeah, we hit, we hit twenty one sixty one. I wouldn't go How about three grand? <laughs> okay. We take we fine. take off two thousand there. You guys on three zero 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 five? Mm -hmm. Yeah, take off two, and then uh, and I'll the just... one below it also. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Too. How much are you taking off? Three zero 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 seven. Can we take that? Thousand, please. Can we take down, take that down to two thousand? Take off well, three. We spend no. In, uh, oh no, I, I apologize. I see what you did here. How about we take a grand off? Put it okay, down to four. Be okay. Okay. Put it down to four thousand. Rental equipment. What are you doing with three zero zero eight? Uh, zeros, we, that one you can reduce also. I checked that yesterday, and I believe, if I haven't missed something, the only thing that we rent is our water cooler. So we could take that down to a 1000 So we'll take that off two. Work. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, it, if you didn't pay the 396 you're, is that... The I mean, water cooler. Yeah, no, there's a hundred. If we rent it, there's a hundred dollar one at, at Menards or whatever. I'm not being sarcastic, but I hope we're not paying three ninety six for a water. That's cooler. a year. To rent one, mm -hmm. you can that, buy one. Does that include your water, or is that just the rental on the unit? Because last it's year you didn't pay. Just rental on the unit. Mm -hmm. Last year you didn't pay for it. I don't know. Did we pay? For last it? year no. no money came out. Well, of yeah, account. nothing was spent. And if you paid three hundred ninety four hundred dollars for that, half a year for unless a water, cooler. unless I go to zero and just ask, we'll buy you a new water cooler. We'll buy one. Do you buy me a water cooler? It's a hundred dollars. We have one in every clerk's office, so it'll be more than one. How many you have? Two, three, three of them. Three. Good deal. I'm still ahead of the game right now. <laughs> you saved ninety six dollars. That's halfway. Well, let me ask you this now: Did somebody bring the water to you and put it in the thing, or how does that work? They and will they? They bring the jugs of water. Sure. That's will they it. change it if it's empty or whatever? No, we change it. All right, so well, that's not. We don't not... know when it's going to be empty. We just change it. I know. I'm just saying it's not one of these things where they won't bring you the water unless it's their water they, cooler. With the... That's what I'm trying to they have, make sure they of, too. Darling, just real quick. I'm sorry, she's going, she wants to say something about it. I know that, like, in building maintenance in, in my department, we bought ours at Menards, you know, just like that. And building maintenance has AIM still come in and, and get by the water. They don't care what we have. Okay. Pay for it out of building or office supplies for the water. Yeah, but. But here's the thing, Kathy. Last year, you didn't pay for any water or water cooler. Well, we paid it out of something because yeah, it comes so in. I don't know where it came from, from but it paid, came out of somewhere because he brings what did, not only here, he takes them to Michigan City, What did you City pay too. so far out of that? What did, oh, uh, yeah. Well, she paid. They spent three ninety six. I wonder what she spent. I, maybe you paid it out of office supplies last year. I don't know. Catherine pays the bills. What do you so. want to reduce it to? More? Let's see. What's zero right now? I want to zero down. And you're going to buy our water. Three water. Three water. Three three water. water. Getting water. I can't believe we're arguing about water. water. <laughs> Three thousand. I can't believe that we paid. Well, yeah, there's three thousand bucks sitting here. Three ninety-six for a rental agreement. Once a zero, but we're not there yet. What? We're gonna see what Chris will say. We leave five hundred and take off twenty-five hundred. Okay. All right, here we make these. That way she could pay for water. So make it twenty-five hundred. Twenty-five hundred reduces to make it five hundred. Reducing by twenty-five hundred, leaving you. Right. Anything else? Five hundred. 
Anything else? No, with those changes, you want to recap them or what? Sure. Um, 2001 uh, minus it, uh, taking $1,500 off of that one. Mm -hmm. uh, 20052 computer supplies, zeroing that out, minus 500. Uh, 30005 printing. Uh, office supplies minus $2,000, 30007 maintenance contracts minus 1000 and 3008 rental equipment minus 2500 Motion to approve with those changes. Second. Motion by Mr. Santana, second by Mr. Molnar. Is there any other questions? Yes. Um, you have a perpetuation fund that I remember that we took money out earlier in the year. Can that be used for anything other than just um, scanning? Uh, we use the perpetuation fund for scanning. We buy books to put our marriage licenses in. Mm -hmm. um, uh, storage cabinets for files. Um, cabinets for discs. Um, anything that would have to do with like shredding. If we have to pay to have somebody come in and shred. So we're maximizing what we can spend. We are. Out of it. And uh, actually, actually, I we bring in about forty thousand, and I only have come over here at the beginning of the year for approval of thirty, because we always have the extra ten, but I usually just approve for thirty. But we can, I mean, we, we can do a lot with the perpetuation fund. We can use that for that tape thing if we have to upgrade it. For, yeah, that'd be that was good. Yeah. part of where we're headed. Well, we already use it for um, to buy the discs. We use it to um, store the discs because right. you have to have a special okay, cabinet. So we, so we use it for that too. Is there, is there any plans? All the old documents. Forgive me if I don't have the right room. It's up on the second floor. There's a room up there. Your clerk's office there. Um, it's full of file cabinets that's got old stuff in it. It's not our stuff. Is that recorder? That's the clerk's office. No. It's, it's a room our... with just file cabinets in it. It's not our... There's some three in the court. It's where he's talking about. I don't think anything in there belongs to the clerk. Well, if it doesn't, we're going to have it removed later today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know what? Oh, we the, went, yeah. On the other side? Yeah. The, where the filing cabinets are, but by, next to the court? Correct. There's a big That's room the, the size of this. What's it's that? got filing cabinets in it. My question is, is is there any plan that those are very, some of those are old, old documents. I'm not old ancient, but is there any plan to scan oh, those? We're scanning. We're, what, so we are trying to reduce those which cabinets. Which is what stuff. the reader's okay. used for. Okay, all right, that, that's great. So. Uh, I'm using the reader again. Don't, do that. Don't use the reader. Don't use the reader. <laughs> <laughs> but are we converting it to something other than tape, a film, or whatever you uh, read? Everything. And you guys would have to come over and see what we do. It, everything from when the Odyssey came in in 12, 2012, is being, well, we're hoping it's being backed up by the state because right. we are not scanning that. Right. We are not. So the old file cabinets, somebody sitting up there and pulling those things out and going, scanning them. And, and that's going into Bolt. Bolt is the tape that uses the reader. <laughs> And it's laser fish also. Mm -hmm. okay. Kathy, can I, make, right. can I make arrangements to visit next Friday? You certainly can. All right. Okay. I'll chat with That's you. I'll stop three. by at the end of the day. Are there any other questions regarding 151? Nope, nope. I backed that up. Ricardi, uh, one clerk's one. office. One one. Sorry, no, no. I was on the wrong one. I already flipped the page. So, okay. regarding the clerk's office, is there any other? No. no. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. You're here for election board too, correct? Right. 131, you guys right behind the other one? Start out at the top on 20001 office supplies. Last year you spent 316. This year to date you've spent 97. And we've got a thousand bucks in there for you. Where are you? R remember, the next, board? remember that Your next year is a presidential I, I, election. Let me let me just say this before we get started. We have no idea what it's going to cost next year. Um, 
I took um, the 2016 election and just duplicated those numbers for next year. Okay. Um, well, and actually, because I didn't know what 18 was going to bring, we used uh, mostly the 2016 numbers for for 18. Thank God, because we were way we had no idea how what we were going to spend was way over, and I had enough money because I just used eight, 18's numbers from 16. Well, I just took that and copied it for next year because I don't know. We, we use a lot of postage. We, um, we have a, to find it, only, it, uh, polling places next year. We don't know what that's going to cost. Um, we don't know how many people we're going to have to hire. We have no idea. I've, I've been told that um, in 2016 it was very, very overwhelming. And so I, I have not experienced that so I just use the 16 numbers and put them into 19 or 2020. Motion approval election board 131 is read. We have a motion second, Mr. Yagowski, seconded by Mr. Roosevelt. I do have a question. Uh, the board, I know it's not working. The board members, how, who makes up the board members? Is that just the board members are the election board, and um, everybody that works at election time, they go the under that category. Places, they're all called board Thank you. I, I, that's what I thought. I just wanted to double yeah. check. Okay, let's do the vote. There's a couple questions. I had a question. Okay, uh, are you using the post? meter why do you have thirty five hundred dollars in postage well I put this in before that last what happened last year or last year long story short of it we were taking our mail over and they were being picked up by that contract and God knows where they were going because a lot of our election uh, documents, ballots, applications for ballot never got to where they were going. And so midway through, I started taking the mail myself to the post office. And we were putting stamps on everything. So um, that's what happened. And, and so not anticipating what, because at the point in time, I, we weren't sure about this. Um, and we don't know. Um, how many absentee ballots we're going to get. I don't know if what happened in 16, but they tell me there were thousands and thousands of them. And those have to be mailed out. Um, and at the time we do them, we were running them through stamps, postage stamps. Now it's different over here now. So, and what happened last year is because of the fiasco going on with the contract, I was taking them to the post office every day and putting stamps on everything. Now remember, when you send an application out for a ballot, you have to put a stamped envelope inside that envelope so that they can mail their ballot back. Can we, can we meet her an envelope and put it in her? We yeah, could do all that with the meter. You and I know you would you just have to uh, to to meter it and then stick it inside the envelope and then you know put the postage on it. Uh, it. It would be a little process for them to do that, but you can do that. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, that's not how we've done it, but that's. Just, yeah, it, it, you might find it faster to feed all those envelopes through the return envelopes through the meter the, uh, than stamping them the one by one. The and voters are just or the uh, absentee room are the ones that do it, and they do it during the day. So somebody would have to meet them in advance because they can't leave. They do that while they're there. So that can be and done the day year, before. Um, some they barely have time to do it when the line is standing outside the door. So I can't, I really have a hard time answering everything because I don't know what to expect next year. I have no idea what's going to happen. So what did we decide? Can she use the postage meter or not? Uh, yeah, I think she could. Did we switch contract? Yeah, we, we have a new Pitney Bowes contract now, and it's working fine. Everybody, have you had any complaints about that? No. Okay. One is in her office in Michigan City, and one is here at the treasurer's office. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, she could use it. We're, we ready to move on? Does anybody want to make any change? Yeah, we're yeah, going to have her use the, uh, for the, what you call it, like we're trying to go universal with everybody, the most taking all the way down and leave something. I'll leave you got to leave, leave something. You, leave more. 500, okay. you want to leave 500 or 1,000? Uh, 500. I would. So we're going to take 3,000 off of I, I would suggest we leave more. 
I would, I would suggest I, that we leave. I, I'm open for suggestions. I would suggest that we leave fifteen hundred minimum, and and if she's anything's needed, we can just approve it then. Okay, so minus two thousand there. I'll agree with that. I just change. Oh, I hear you. Travel right underneath there. Uh, last year you used two hundred forty-one dollars. This year to date you used two hundred five, and we've got like twenty-six fifty in there. You anticipating some more? Well, in 2016, during the presidential election, we have a lot of people traveling um, on election day, um, moving ballots around. I, I can't tell you what it's going to cost. Do you I remember don't. what you used in 16? I wasn't here in 16. I don't know. Those records don't exist. Okay. I mean, I just, I, I just don't uh, know. I would, I would leave it for the they get gas it. Yeah. mileage. We'll, they we'll get a little more next, like you say, next year. I'm not. We don't want to mess with the, the election year stuff. What's uh, what's the deal on janitor service? What do you, what do you? Do uh, janitor there? is um, all the polling places that we use. Oh. We pay to clean up after. To, to somebody has to clean it. Question asked, yeah. answer. Thank you. Yeah. No, I just thinking like they're skipping your office or something. No. 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 It's uh, okay. the polling places we pay for uh, cleanup. All right. Is there any other uh, things on 131? The only item is one on on the postage. All right. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by. Mr. Sullivan, second by Mr. Bolden. Did, did we already have a motion to approve this yeah. prior? We already had so a we motion. need those people to make the change. It was Mark and, and uh, as, as uh, Mike. So we're going to reduce the postage by two thousand. Correct. Mark agrees that. I I did. I okay. agree. Right. That way Those we're. Favor, say aye. 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 Vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going back to county council and tripping no, sure. <laughs> You're not going to yell at us, are you? Me? She might. I don't know. I have to wait to see. Why, we did labs. Because, uh, yes. So we got labs out Because I, I don't think that was it. We made all the cuts you recommended. <laughs> okay. Uh, I apologize if I've got you running late. We had 64 criminal cases this morning, so we had a long call. And it took you how long? <laughs> That's about four minutes of case. That's about what it ends up being. Wow. Yeah. So what do you got on your uh, budget here that we need to go about this? I, I don't think, I, you know, I, I looked it over and a couple, I don't really see any big changes. The, the one issue... And it really is. I, it really the law books. I, we've we've covered that now. We've, we've got spoke, it. We've we did. spoke with Mr. Iron. Right. Yeah. And uh, he says he can absorb. He can absorb the law books for everybody. Well, he said he had something in the budget for it, but he didn't tell me how much. He, he said that he could absorb those. We talked with uh, okay. Freeman. She was okay with that. Mr. Alabisos was a little. Has been more articulate in his discussion um, about a lot of. He's things. concerned of uh, running Irix's right. uh, total all the way down or whatever to a non-existent, but what, that still generates yes. enough, we think. And so but he also said that the judges shouldn't be using if they're using Westlaw, they shouldn't be using that at all anymore. They shouldn't be paying for it. Yeah. It comes automatically from the state. Well, the state no, that's next it there. Lexus, Lexus, next Lexus, Lexus comes um, anyway, so. Well. Is, is there enough in the probation budget? Yes. I haven't looked at those numbers. Yes, Steve is. just said that he had some money in his budget. For, that's the first I knew of that, by the way. That was yesterday. Yeah. Uh, first we knew too. Exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna zero that out, and that's gonna come out of his budget. He'll, 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 he'll get all your books, everything, whatever you. And say. and if he can't, then we'll figure it out. Right. Then we'll, yeah. Okay. And I know he's away for two weeks, so we can't go back to him with all these numbers. Under the three zero 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 seven maintenance contracts. What is that for? Copiers, copy machine, and um, the water dispenser. Oh, that's in uh, in uh, oh, no. traffic. Yeah. <laughs> water, sort of copy. Yes. Okay, we just have an issue with the clerk. So <laughs> okay. 
you're not supposed to have any contract right now on the top of the ship. We do have a week of special your office, so it's our link page. So I don't know where that's What else would we have had? And that's probably why. I mean, mainly the only thing is you, the use of that water cooler. Okay. Is it a typical what we put a bottle on? Yeah. You're paying, bottle, you're paying yeah. That's in rent. Yes. You're paying, but, that's but in traffic. We pay for the rental. Rental of it. Okay. So we buy one. We can get rid of the rental. We're gonna buy you one. Take right. that one off. So out of your office okay. supplies, just buy one and have them come pick that one up. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yours is cheap, but we have another that paid almost four hundred dollars rental every year. That was well, for three. We wouldn't tell her that. That's true. Good news is she didn't pay for it last year, so we're not sure how. <laughs> So if you water that and you take those let's move on. Yeah, on, please, let's move on. on. And you see yourself with any other maintenance? Any other maintenance? No, not that I'm not. Okay. Zero that we, we don't have our um, computers and stuff. We don't really have maintenance on those. Just, just leave them alone. Should everything you're up huh? to do, do it now. But, uh, I'm sorry. You should pretty much be the thing you placed everything you moved over, right? Well, in the courtroom, yeah. Uh, I was thinking at, at the individual uh, desks, but I, I think we're in pretty good shape there anyway. And you know, typically that equipment it just becomes outdated and gets yep. replaced. Come in and buy it. So there really isn't maintenance on those things. We have 400 accounts come in a year if you have to do Somebody for Steve does for you or something. Right. So we'll purchase a water cooler. You know, you, know. Uh, you know, Judge um, and Counsel, I think that um, Christy and I will talk with maintenance and see if we could get some kind of a deal on getting water coolers for everybody. Water and water we'll come back to you and and let you know how much it is, and maybe we, we can have all those people lined up then in front of traffic. That's to get right. Water and talk about uh, the Bachelorette the night before. That's a good call, Joey. That's a good one. Okay. But we'll maintain your water. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you're right. Darlene, they thought they had in their maintenance contracts, but I think it's just the cooler. They don't have any printer copy machine copy machines in their maintenance. You should have all those, right? I should have all those. Okay. Okay, then we'll move that to zero, please. And uh, everything else is the same that I see from us. So make yeah. a motion to Superior Court 151 as the one amendment. Well, no, law two, two, oh, two amendments. Two amendments. Two, yeah. two amendments. Yeah, with the law books. Three, zero, mm -hmm. zero, three, eight law books are zeroed out minus 8,500. And three, zero, 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 seven maintenance mm -hmm. contracts zeroed out minus 500. Mm -hmm. You make that motion, Mark? Mark. Second. Second advice. Second. Second advice. On the books. On the on 151. We've done all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Time for lunch? Or do <laughs> was, it, was it less than four minutes? Did we do it in less than one time? I don't know. Did <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to... All I know is that four minutes, I didn't put anybody in jail. So it's like, you know, it's a waste of time. At this time, is that correct? Thank you. Take care. Thank you. 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 So, with that, is there anything else anybody's got before we... I don't know.